Varför? Precis. Uh, jag kan köra så långt precis. for me personally because I'm going to be able to see uh, who rolled what. You know, Frederick Carlson's dice will be on the right side of the board uh, from our perspective, and Armand's dice are going to be on the left-hand side of the board from our perspective, so I'll always know whose roll is whose. I asked them about switching, and they told me that one person would be using it and one wouldn't, so it's actually better this way uh, for, I think, everyone involved except for people that want to bury their head in a rule book. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. Um, I think it's more about player preference over anything else. We're just here as observers of the action of the tournament. We don't want to take anything too seriously, or at least I don't. Um, but that's because I don't take anything too seriously. Just ask anybody that knows me. Right, so we had a 6-2 split followed by a 5-2, which I think it's actually correct to hit on the ace and split with a deuce. But that's all right. What is this, another five something? Let me enlarge my screen here so I can see this a little bit better. Four. Yeah, we'll just cover the blot, of course. 5 4 comes all the way around, makes the 11 point. That's nice. Six three. Don't think there's any need to really go anywhere yet. I mean, maybe this butterfly anchor usually is something uh, the number 6 3, not 6 4. That's illegal. That's illegal. That is illegal. But all right. Four, three. And I would just make the four point slot the three point.
five three. We'll just go to the one point probably. I mean, I don't know. I guess we could play the three down. What do we get hit with? Two five and four three. That never happens, right? Five five on the other hand is great for the race, but it doesn't extract your back checkers, so there's still that problem to solve. Five four. I guess we'll just continue to the one point. Five two. Yeah, I mean, this is a great question whether or not we should just run here, to be honest. We are out of time, actually, and it, it even though we do like to cover the five point, it's going to make it very difficult to get out of here if we just sit and wait. I would have really considered getting out of dodge. Really, really, really would have considered it. For one, I mean, you know, it seems definitely reasonable to just make the one point. Uh, what do we get paid off by? 6-2? Yeah, seems okay. Double twos in the window, that's a fantastic number. I would just bring this checker in. I don't like breaking my board. Because I might get some fly shot later and... Uh, I'd like to have a full board if I do get a fly shot. So if I hit it, I actually get to win. Six, two. Five, four, all right. So we have the option of either breaking our board now or coming out with like both checkers, right? This sort of double falcon sort of idea. He's giving it a good think. I don't know if I would come out here, to be honest. I have such a bias towards not breaking my board, but also I have a bias about not giving up my 20 point anchor uh, just all willy nilly. So I have these conflicting ideas in my head right now about what I would want to do and why I would want to do it. So this is not the way to do it if you're going to do it. The double falcon play is the way to do it if you're going to do it. You just come out with both and leave aces and deuces to hit. The problem with this is that the guy can point on you, which is not what you want to have happen at all. So you either are going to stay on your anchor or you're going to come out with just both checkers, double falcon style, as Michi would call it. And I, 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 I'm going to say I'm not breaking my board. I'm coming out double falcon. Yes, like this. Good morning, Mark Dixon. Nice to see you in the chat. If anybody wants to uh, have a shout out on the stream this morning, I've been doing this every morning. Just uh, let me know where you're from. And I'll see your name and I'll give you a shout out this morning. But no, turning the corner like this is not good because there's so many numbers that just point on you. It would be better to get hit loose in the outfield with like a one or two to ever be pointed on than ever be pointed on. You don't want to be pointed on. Yeah, if you're going to do it, do this. Nice play. I like it. What did you roll? One six. Okay, yeah. Well, you got hit, but now you have two, two, three, two, five, two. One two, though, is not on the menu. All right, and what is the race now? Doesn't care, you take this cube. Or maybe he already knows. I'm gonna have to count. Is it 84 for black?
I don't know. The race might be tied for all I know. My quick little count here, so I, I, I'm going to take it. Six, 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 six. This is a great number for the race, but boy, if he rolls a two, <laughs> I'll tell you. Nope, no two. And you should just stay, I guess. I mean, now you know you're being killed in the race. And he could roll something dumb. Okay, this is not a great number, but at least it doesn't leave a shot. Six, four. I have to stay. I'm going to break my board, even though I hate it, but I must. I'm not worried about losing a gammon here, and I have a chance to win the game. There are many numbers that leave a shot, so I'm going to stay here. 2-3 doesn't leave a shot. And as white here, I'm hoping I don't roll a 6 so I don't have to leave, because I'm willing to break my board some more. And I'll break it some more here. I'm just going to go to the 1 point. Hope that he rolls some combination of four. The four, that leaves a shot. Break the seven and hit. Now a three will have him doing really well in this game. A six one has him doing not so well. Five two, there's still a shot. And he still doesn't have any checkers off. Is there a three in the cup? There is a three in the cup. Hits and comes out, and if he fans, he's getting a cube. He doesn't fan, he runs with 6-4. Eight's hit. That's an eight. And if he doesn't roll a six, he misses. Cube, game over. There is no two good here because there's only one checker on the roof, and you don't really win any gammons there. Start, you just press here again. So, so remember to, uh, when you start again, just press again here. Sure. The 4-3, of course, is going to hit and make the anchor. Wild last game, of course. How are you doing, Chris Bray? I've been told Frederick Carlson in the chat uh, is a very strong player. Two years in a row now, he's finished as the top scored in the elite division of the Danish Team League. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good. We have one more. Maybe I play six to four just for a roll. I don't know, this seems fine as well. Double twos on the other hand is not particularly great. How's it going? Nottingham, backgammon club in the chat.
Nice shot with the double threes there. Um, why the extra blot though? Three one. Now they have a double anchor game on white side, so they should be in this for quite a while. Six three makes the bar point. That's a fantastic roll. Six five runs. This also seems quite reasonable to get rid of that double anchor game. Maybe the race doesn't dictate enough that we're we're really down enough to hold a double anchor to begin with. Six two. Okay, I mean Yeah, this seems like a very reasonable play. I'm not sure of the race. Four, three. White would love to make the five point here. They do roll a number good enough to do so, and I would just slot the three point next. Uh, why not just slot the three point, you know? Just get ready to make it. Yeah, he's asking himself the same question. Maybe I should just slot the three point. Maybe he's concerned a little bit that black might try to run off and it would be harder to attack him, but I think it's better to just slot it. I would just slot the three point and play six to five, you know? I don't know about you, but I like starting points and then making them so when my opponent do decide to run and I attack them, or they just can just roll double five, that's fine as well. Five, four. And now it would be really nice to know the race. Sure, he's up by a mile. Um, all right, let me give it a quick count here. And by quick, I mean slow. 90, 100, 110, 25, 31, 35 for white. All right, I mean, I know they're holding six away contact, but because there's three points in front of him that he can land on, I'm going to pass this cube. I think the race is just too much, and because of the points in front of white for, sorry, the, the points that black has to land on, I think there's just too many landing spots. Even though there's six away contact, I'm still going to pass. I don't like it. Let me just quickly put this into my XG mobile thing here and we'll see what the output reads. And our computer says that at an even score or for money, this is a 214 pass. If you take this, you would be making a big blunder um, let's put it in as a match and see if it's actually too good. No, it's not too good by 1%. Oh, but he takes. No, 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 no. The take is not great here because your contact really isn't as much as you think it would be. Only because of all the landing spots, right? Um, if they didn't have maybe the seven point there, the contact would be much more because it would be harder for black to clear the 11 point. But just because it's not correct uh, as a technical take still doesn't mean white won't win this game. I mean, look at this roll. They could win by racing. They might need another one, though.
five, four. And now that point is clear and white is not so happy about it. Two, one. Uh, I mean, if you're up significantly in the race, you can consider just clearing the eight point there with that number. Because now if you roll double sixes, you're going to leave a shot. Six, three, I think I'm just going to run. I have some race equity here. I mean, okay, I don't if I'm, if I'm pointed on, but uh, I'm not likely to be pointed on. Double fours, this looks like you're down. I would stay with one probably. Just in case you rolled something silly. Don't like entering races when I'm down. Six, two. Yeah, two of them. Oh, you can hear them. Is it on your computer or your phone? Oh, no, I've heard there's no alerts on my phone at all. I sent you these two. I can't hear anything. Five, four, and all right, white is on roll here. They have one, two, three, four roll position. One, two, three, four, five roll. What? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five roll position from the other side. All right, if that's correct, I'm giving him the cube back. Well, suppose five, two, no five. Yeah, Passes, of course. Little break here. Seems to be a lot of chat about politics in the chat, so I'm going to have to stop looking at it. Uh, we are a backgammon stream. We're here to talk about backgammon. And maybe any other random thing about <laughs> going on, but not so much about politics, which is something I don't get involved in ever really.
Yes. So, was that a clear pass for black? Yeah. So, white is in a one, two, three, four roll position on roll, by the way. And black has a five roll position, and they are not on roll. So, if white has four rolls to bear off, and they roll first, and black has five rolls to bear off, and they're rolling second, white has a massive, 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 massive advantage in, in that spot. White would have to forget they were on roll, and then black would have to take white's dice and roll four of them, and then white would get to roll, and then there would be a... Right, I'll be back in a moment when this break is over. Looks as if the players are back. Uh, portable camera stand. Yeah, Mate makes them. He is uh, Backgammon News on YouTube. That's where I got mine. I know Mochi and some of these other guys have a wooden one that they use that looks nice. I'm not sure who makes those, but I wouldn't mind having one. Hint, hint, if anyone out there knows who makes them and wants to uh, have one sent to me, I would love it. One, four, double hits. Two, six. Six, five, all right, well, I guess I would just make the bar and cover the one point. You can play the six down to make the bar and then cover the one with the five. Yeah, I don't know if I love like this attacking play. I would probably just do this just because I don't have much confidence in it, it working. But it might have. Yeah, I mean, you can attack. 
I might do this. I might make the anchor. I'm not sure. My, my backgammon brain is just warming up this morning. Four and then the six well, I would just come down 13 to seven. The reason why I wouldn't come out is because I would be trying to just roll an ace to also make the other anchor in their board. Lars Valentine or something of the sorts. I'm obviously not the best with pronunciation of names. Even my own name sometimes. Of course, I know Justin, but uh, my last name I have a hard time pronouncing sometimes. Uh, he asked, what is PR? PR stands for performance rating. It is essentially the computer's way of uh, assessing how you play. It's almost like a golf score where the lower your PR, the better. So let's say you know your PR is under a four. You're considered to be a world-class player. And anything... Worse than that, like a five, a six, a seven, eight, nine, ten. As the number gets higher, denotes you know just uh, less of an understanding of what is optimal in a particular position, or so that is how the theory goes. <clears throat> Some people care about these things. We have PR competitions where you know whoever plays closest to how the computer would play. Uh, wins. We just had one of those competitions here in Copenhagen. It was the UBC uh, Denmark competition, which I finished second in. I had the overall lowest average PR or performance rating uh, of anyone in the competition, even after my bad matches in the final. Or my one bad match in the finals, at least. It's a lot of fun though. The more you know about backgammon, the more you realize you don't know about backgammon and there's always something to learn. So anytime I have a bad match or you know I perform a little bit below what I would like to perform at, I just know that there's something in there for me to kind of understand and learn and dive deeper with. So it's a never-ending well of uh, understanding or misunderstanding and reinterpretation. He doubles. I, um, ah. Okay, well, three points to clear. Doesn't feel great. What numbers are going to leave shots? A three could leave a shot immediately. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take, a three could leave a shot immediately, right? So I'm going to take, Uh, let's see here what our computer overlord thinks about this decision with the cube here. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. was a no double, says Andreas Christensen, which must mean that it is a massive take. How big was the pass error? You know, when I look at positions like this, um, you know, the way to assess them is just kind of looking through all of the rolls, which is a very good exercise. This is a massive pass. Might be too good. Might be too good four points made in the inner board. Invest in a board worthy of champions. 
The Earthboard, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. So that position might have been too good. I'm not entirely sure, but it's definitely a pass. Um, the other position from the previous game, though, I, what I was saying, you just very important to go through the numbers. You know, when Mochi plays over the board, right, and you, you know, uh, the idea is that, okay, people think he plays slow. He doesn't play slow. I've seen Mochi play very fast. What he's doing, though, oftentimes is just kind of looking through every possible sequence. How does this next role play? 6-5, 6-4, 6-3, 6-2, 6-1, 5-5, 5-4, 5-3, 5-2, 5-1. 4-4, four, 4-3, four, four, three, four, four, one, three, three, right? And you start to notice that like numbers are going to leave shots. The guy rolls a 3 with a strip 6 point there. He's going to leave an immediate shot, which means that there's tons of numbers that are going to be an absolute disaster for him. Uh, therefore, I take. I have one of Mate's camera stands at home. It's what I use. It um, packs down to almost nothing and fits in like uh, the little backpack I carry around the world to these events. Have a little GoPro I use with it. Use an action cam to capture the action. Uh, I don't like this running play only because you're down in the race after your opponent rolled double sixes and it's going to make it difficult for you to make an anchor if you don't have two checkers back to link up to make an anchor. Jeffrey Parker, of course, is a sponsor of this tournament. We can see their board at the table here. Probably one of their best looking boards I've ever seen. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, all of their boards are stunning, but this particular color combination is uh, crazy in a good way. One in the four hits. I'd love to have this board and I can get one. Um, but I would love to win one, of course. Uh, what? Okay. I mean, if the guy wants to leave all these blots for you with the, the ace hit here, I like the aggressive cube. I mean, if you hit on the ace and hit back on the four or the deuce somewhere, white is not going to be pleased. I'm not sure if it was entirely necessary to do it. I might have just hopped out and just left twos and fours and ones to hit. Since they only have a two point board, I don't feel like it's that desperate. Um, And here's the 1 6 double hit. Fantastic shake. And if white doesn't roll a 4 here, you are in serious trouble, sir. But he does roll a 4. Yeah, that would be fantastic if Rain made an overlay with this color combination of the Jeffrey Parker. Rain makes the skin overlays for XG. You can see them on my channel. I have a copy of uh, my own personal Gaminer board with the, the color colors made up. And I'm sure a lot of people would love to play with this um, color combination. 
This 5-2 is a hitter. Double ones, though. I would hit both of these checkers. Yep, looks fantastic. 6-5 fans. Uh-oh. Four. And yeah, I guess we just have to remake the bar. There's no other ace. 3-3 <laughs> three, three fans. Five, four. Oh, what a shot. It hits another checker. Now there's three on the roof. Five, four. Black's going to want to attack that checker. If they can, they can with double threes. And maybe we switch and hit off the ace as well. It's possible, but I don't know if there's a lot of material in the zone to continue the attack. If they just enter with a four, maybe we should have just kept the priming. I would have needed some time to think about that, to be honest. But if you're going to go for this, just play the six down. Oh, a four. Chris, he's done this board already. White needs a four here in a serious way. <clears throat> I am not sure about that double three switch because we had two checkers back on the 24 point and that generally is going to require quite a bit of time to get around the board. And so maybe the priming structure would have been better so you don't have to, to gamble as much with this attack and not a lot of material in the zone. Now I'm double switching and covering. Yeah, first we cover. Now let's switch. Yeah, okay, sure. We don't want him to anchor. Two, one. We need to get those checkers off the 24 point quickly. Um, I really do not want to be stuck on the 24 point here. You just rolled a three. I understand wanting to close the five point, but I'm very nervous. He is not nervous at all, but he did split off with one of them. I might have come up with both just in case I rolled double fives or something dumb. 3-1. Yeah, I wouldn't even make this anchor exactly, just like this. Yeah, I mean, Rain, the texture he created for the playing surface of my um, Gaminer board, it looks just like my Gaminer board, which, of course, is a lovely, lovely board. Double twos would be funny, but I'm not wishing it upon him. Oh my God. Really? Really dice? Well, at least he didn't roll double six back. He's still a massive favorite to win a gammon here, provided he can get out of here. You might as well come out with both. I think I would come out with both, but. Three, one. 6-4 comes around. Four one. Six four. Six. And then the four would just go to the seven point. I would just go to the seven point because it does give me some numbers to make that point again, which would be nice if I could do it. Although I understand maybe you would leave a shot with something. Four, three picks and passes. Six, one. Six, three, okay. So as long as black doesn't leave a shot here, this gammon is guaranteed. And we're gonna have a new leader in the match. Three, two. Six, five. Five, three. Just in case you have a hard time seeing the dice rolls, I'll 
call out the ones I can see. Oh no, he does leave a shot though, of course. Backgammon is a sick game. And if he rolls a three, he's gonna have a chance. There is no three though. Funny enough, I mean, there are some backgammon chances here. Give him another double. I'm sure he won't be upset about it. There it is. And the backgammon can definitely happen. He's a likely a favorite to get it if he doesn't roll a two. He doesn't roll a two. The backgammon is secured. Somebody needs to roll a double to get off of this, but Black could just roll a double to secure it right now. 5-3. Double twos are better to get off of the BG. Double ones, the worst double. Oh my gosh. Add those six points to the scoreboard before the dice gods notice and change their mind. Sheesh. Don't know what I what I did in a previous life to deserve that is what I would be thinking. Double fives blitz. What number is this? Five four? Okay. I might just enter and come down. I don't know if I would leave this shot though. I might just play 13 to 8 since I know I'm going to be attacked. And he will be attacked. He should hit twice and come down with two checkers, I think. Even though this gives more covers, I think bringing more material into the zone is more important. So I would bring down two checkers. Three, one, picks and passes. This is a great number. He needs a four big time. Five, three hits. No, Magnolia is a different color from Jeffrey Parker, I believe. Not that I'm an expert or anything, but uh, I think I have seen in person what their Magnolia color is, and I do not believe it is this, but I'm just speaking off of memory from a few years ago when I was helping a student of mine build a Jeffrey Parker board for them to buy. I think they ended up going with Michigan colors. Five, two, it's a great shot. Able to make the outside 18 point. White's doing fine here now. Double fives. Hmm. What are we doing here? Seems difficult. So we've entered with one. Come out here and maybe we just go to the 13 point again with the other one. I like the way he's thinking about this. We could also make the outside point, but I might. Yeah, I mean, that's difficult. I think I might have just put the extra spare on the 13, but don't have any strong preference. Five one is not a great roll. Yeah. The ace is annoying, but I think I would do this one as well. It's the fewest number of shots back, I think. Problem is, you might get attacked on the five point as well, which you are. He's going to hit twice. 
hit on the 11 and on the 5. We just pick both up and force black to roll a 5 from the roof or die trying. He fans completely, and this might be too good if you can cover. If you can't cover, now you are scared of the five this time. I said it might be too good. I had not, g oh my God. And these just come down. Wow, no swing there, huh? From fan, maybe too good, to double fives entering. And then you threw away the 5-1, which would save the game. And now you fanned. And now he gives the cube. And now this game is over. If you take this one, I'm going to have to check that you can pay. Because two's hit, six is hit. You're on the roof still. You can take, but you're going to have to show me you can pay for the gammon. It's free to look, though. Definitely free to look. I think it's time for another break as well after this game. Yeah, of course, you can't take this. You just have to look a long time and just look up at the sky and wonder what you did wrong in order to deserve this. But you did nothing wrong. Sometimes the dice just do this. They have no feelings, no thoughts about it one way or the other. They don't have a memory of what's happened before and they don't have any foresight as into what is going to happen next. Things just happen at random. This is a take, no. <laughs> that is a massive pass. So what just happened? They rolled six one and now you have two one. The best play is to slot 13, 11, six to five. That's the best play for money. And now that you're trailing, it's probably even more correct. And now that we made the incorrect play, we've given them the opportunity. Of course, they rolled their super joker, but they were able to use it to blitz you because of the play. And now he's doubling you again. Wow. This one we can take. This one we can take. Yeah, this one we can take. Not happy about it, but I guess I'm taking. All right, so he has recovered. Where's your three? Do you really want more blots by playing down to the uh, 10 point? Four, six, fantastic shot from the roof. Five, four. Yeah, and bring the five down, more numbers to attack with. Why there? Okay, he wants to keep pressure on that checker. I would have brought a more diversified builder down. Double fives, if it's good for you, it's good for me, he says. White is taking control over this game again. 
one four. Yeah, we're just going to split. We're not gonna come all the way up. Yeah, this is not, yeah, this is better. Six three. Okay, we can make the five point or we can make the seven. If we make the five point, it's better long term, but it does leave a direct six as a shot. So I guess I make the bar just to clean this up. I get hit with sevens. I get hit with nines. How many numbers is that? I don't get hit with all sevens. Here I get hit with 11 direct sixes plus three, three and five, one. I also get hit with five, three. I think I like making the bar. I only get hit with indirect numbers, which means they can't cover the four point and hit me at the same time. Here they can hit and cover with six, two and six, four, which I don't love. And here's the number, of course. I mean, I feel like I'm jinxing the guy. But in reality, I just uh, control and manifest my own universe and everything in it. So when I speak something, it comes to fruition. Or maybe not. <laughs> just, just talking crazy. 1-5, all right. And just 13. Oh, yeah, no, no, this attack. Okay, this has a lot of value, actually. I know I like this. He just played this instantly. He's good. That's very strong reply, though, this 3-4. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would have done it, but it, it looks okay. 5-6 is a hitter and comes around. Black is looking to roll an ace from the roof to hit back. They do not. 3 and then 4, I guess, just comes around. As Green Day would say, when I come around. Three, four misses. Guess we can just go to the six point. Don't really want to be hit here. Six, two, four, four hits. Six, one misses. Hmm. Ah, this makes the four point. This is fantastic. White should be thinking about redoubling here. They have quite an advantage in this game. And yeah, yeah, nice time to stop and think about it. So clearly the six is going to be overwhelming. You have good priming structure in front of their back checkers and black has this broken priming uh, blitzing structure that isn't working for them anymore. It's a nice thought. I would always start this thinking process by asking myself, how easy is this take? And if the take is super easy, then I would ask myself, okay, well then should I be doubling? And if I'm not sure if I should be taking, then it makes the cube much easier. Just some deductive reasoning there. So I think he should cube. I think that is for sure. And then let's talk about whether or not they should be taking or passing this. I think you should probably pass. I think it's a take for money, but with myself leading in the score, taking a four cube that has a lot of gammons might allow me to lose eight points in a game, which would really swing the equity here. 
So I think I'm leaning towards a pass here, though if it was a one to two cube, I'd probably take. But two to four, I think I pass. I know I started talking like this last night. There were a lot of recubes because there were a lot of early cubes in our last match uh, yesterday. I think you just got to let this go. Um, but that's if he doubles. He's not even sure. I like how he fakes reaching for it. That might make it an insta take for our opponent if we feign like we're not sure. Chris Bray is on XG saying it is a 217 pass. He gives it. And I love how Armin doesn't just insta-take. He's not allowing his opponent's uh, level of unsureness to affect his decision-making process. It is a very big pass. And Armand passes very strong. His level of backgammon play, I mean. Not just his biceps, which of course are obviously strong. Yeah, that take looks pretty easy for money. I mean, I don't love it, but I would take it. But from one to two, I think I take as well. But from two to four, those gammons really start to uh, hurt my ability to win the match. So, yeah, I agree there. Um, maybe we enter with the three and slot the five with the ace, I think. Armand has 32 minutes to think, someone in the chat says. Yeah, he certainly is not using any time. But I think he's playing really well, so if this is his style and it's working for him, no need to change it. I would split. Double six fans. He's thinking about giving the thing, but mm, I think the take is clear. So I'm not sure of the cube because you have the five point on the other side and the most you're really gonna do is kind of make the bar and the anchor. It's a market loss only if he rolls a number like one six maybe, <laughs> which he does roll. 3-2, this hits and continues to move on. Five, six fans, okay, well he was able to get the cube in. This would definitely be a pass now. Five, four. Okay, I guess I just come out with the five and down with the four. It's not a bad roll because it allows you to get out from behind the prime. I mean, it's not as good as a 4-2, though, which I would have preferred if I were him. 2-6 doesn't do anything. And now we would like a 4 to be able to extend the 5 prime or a number like 5-2 or something like this, which makes the, the 4 point. Double 4 is the worst. Oh, no, it's not. What is it? 6-4, okay. Five, four. Okay, I think I'm going to leave a four shot. Maybe I could leave a four shot. One, six, two, six. I 
think I was going to do it. Just slot the back of the prime. I'm not so worried about black's position in comparison to mine. Five one makes the six prime. Now you're not worried about anything. Two two. Uh, is this right? Why why make the one over the four point? I don't understand. One, six. I, I would play the other six, maybe. I, I mean, okay, maybe not. You just you just don't have a chance to win this game. So apparently he's just trying to not get gambled, which makes a lot of sense. You can't really win this game as uh, as black. I mean, I've said this before, and then the other guy turns it around and wins it. But I just just don't see how you win this. So just giving up and trying to not lose a gammon seems pretty important. Five one. Five four. Four two, okay. I guess what? Six five is the worst roll. Five three is fine. Clears the eight point. Four three, okay. Black's board is destroyed, so white is going to be playing to try to win a gammon in this game if they can. They don't get to hop out. Maybe it's better to just make the three point actually with that three two. Six two. Five five, okay, that should save a lot of gammons. Cool, he's just giving up. Makes sense to me. You don't really win any of these games, and if you get pointed on, you just lose many more gammons. Five four. Four four, okay, that should save it. Uh yeah, okay. Six three. And the gammon looks saved. Oh, not yet. But it will be next roll. Nothing can uh, win a gammon here. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Three point two one splits. I generally don't slot when the other guy has a better board than me uh, because he might roll something like four six and now it increases the likelihood that I don't enter, but of course you enter just fine. He's thinking about something here. I would just continue to roll. You only have eight checkers in the zone and you're not at some special critical score, I don't think, being eight away, eight away. I don't wanna give my opponent too easy of a decision. It's not like he fanned with either of the checkers, right? But okay, you cube the guy, he takes it. He's not scared of this cube. I wouldn't be either. Five, four makes the nine point. It 
makes the nine. And now if black just rolls a number to make the anchor, he's doing just fine. They do not though. They can make this outside point, which seems okay. Although clearly they would have preferred to have made uh, the 20 or 21 point anchors. 6-3 just has to run out into the double shot. Because why are we playing with a second blot? We're up in the race. Or we were at least. Um, yeah. And come out. No, I like coming out. I think that improves our position the most. According to Andreas Christensen in the chat, it was a no double by 73 milli points, which I would say is like a 7% 7, 7 error. Not a big deal, but I just didn't see enough there. We're not at some like critical score. And here we could hit or we could just make the five. We could hit or we could just make the five. I'm doing one of the two. I'm not not doing one of those. Five, three. I think we just come in with the th five. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe just slot the five as well. Six, two numbers like bad uh, okay so what can we do creative here now that they have two blots in their board maybe we can just play down with the six I think I prefer playing down with the six instead of this one because if he hits me with an ace he's going to have blots all over the place and just cover the five as well leave him the ace shot it's your board that's gonna scare him when you when you when you make the board, right? Nah, you just gotta make the five. You just gotta make the five point. Because then he's gonna be worried about leaving shots anywhere, of course, right? Because your board's going to be so strong, anytime you hit him, he's going to die. So you just make the board and you let your offensive structure be your defense, right? If the guy's six foot six, 300 pounds, you don't necessarily need to be the best fighter in the world for people to not mess with you, right? Your board is so strong, people stand clear of you to begin with. They're like, no, I don't want any part of that. Six one. Two one. Double six, okay. This is a little fast. It's going to need another double in order to bring that outside point home. This is great. Yeah, he's playing it right. White needs doubles here. 4-3 is not a double. Maybe we just make the one point. 5-1, to 4-1 one, to one seems reasonable. Five, four. Okay, I mean, this seems okay as well. White doesn't want to roll a six first. Three, two. We can save some fives by putting two checkers on the one point, or we can make a better board. 
more solid board by just putting the checker on the floor. But then he would leave shots with like all fives and sixes and fours afterwards, which would be annoying. He would have had to have left a shot here if he made the other play last time. This time he didn't have to leave a shot. 3-2, he just gets to go to the one point. And now white leaves a shot with any four, five, or six. Double threes, though. Was a fantastic shot. 5-1 just comes around like this. And white has already doubled. They leave shots with some small numbers. This is one of them. Black needs to roll a two here. They have 12 numbers to do so. Double threes is not it, but it does help in the race, although the race is kind of bad. 4-2, first one off. Black needs a big six here in order to make up some ground in this race. They do roll a big six, 6-5. Six, Black needs white to miss with a four, 6-3. They take two off. 4-3. 2 2. I think here I go from 3 to 1. I think 3 to 1 is a little bit better. Uh, just because your twos are now death in perpetuity for the rest of the game. 5-5. Five, five. So now it's a one, two, three, four roll prop versus a four roll prop. Okay. Double twos. That doesn't take much off. Just two, but now all of his doubles work. Aces through sixes, six one. He's gonna have a chance at it if white doesn't roll a double here. Five, four, six numbers win for black. 6.5 is not one of them though. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon, a grandmaster's guide for beginners and intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world. Masayugi Mochi Mochisugi. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon, 
a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. All right, here we are, back at it. I must have miss, missed some blitzing action. Wow, double ones, two, three, and four men on. Wow, okay, well there you go. Now there's three on the roof. He really needs an ace here in order to keep himself from getting gammoned, and he rolls boxes. A five to cover would be ideal. He doesn't roll one. 3-1, okay, this seems fine. He needs a five for, sh an ace for sure. He does roll one, that's great for his chances of staying in the game. 
five, two, two, and the five comes down, put some more pressure on the inner board. Three, six fans. Six, four makes the four point. Double six again. You should save those for races. Yep, this seems like a good play, of course. Just adding pressure to the two point, which is the next point you're hoping to close. He does make an anchor. This saves a ton of equity here. Now it's not possible for him to be closed out. Is this right? Couldn't we just play like uh, six out and the five down or something? I mean, of course, this is like a fantastic roll. I mean, I would probably just step up with the other ace as well. I don't think that's much of an asset at this point. I think it's more of a liability. Five, two. I would just play two down. I'm not so worried about uh, white's attack with the aces, even though they did roll them and I would have cried. Four, one. 13 to eight seems reasonable. One, three, I just cover. It's not like I'm really trying to win going forward at this moment. Black's going to need to find a way to get off of this midpoint sometime soon. And look, they can make I would just play two down here. This looks great. Now they're going to have to break, and they might be breaking into a triple shot. 6-1 just goes to the one point. It's forced. 5-3 comes out. Oh, what an amazing shot. You get to keep all three of those anchors, and black is breaking against you. 5-3 and 2-6 hit out there, though. Double ones is bad. Yeah, I mean, I would just use the spare checker. I wouldn't break any of these points right now because the next time the guy rolls a six, he might have to break. Although I guess we are keeping him on his anchor with one, six, and four, six. Yeah, I prefer this. Five, two. Hmm. He's thinking about doing something funky. Five covers, okay. And I don't love going to the one point that puts that checker permanently out of play. Four one just covers the three point. I think, I mean, I could just make the two point, but that leaves a blot here. Okay. I mean, I don't want to get hit, that's for sure, but now when he runs off, oh, double fours, that's bad. Five, two, okay, we can remake the six point, that's great. Four, three, and it is shot time. Double six. Okay, so there's an argument for making the one point. You get hit with less numbers. You take away one, two. So maybe there's a lot of strength there. Maybe if he just fans you get a recube in anyway. And giving your opponent an extra two numbers to hit you doesn't seem lovely. 
But here there are two more numbers to hit. 3, 1. Six one fans. Four three needs to enter pretty quickly. Four six doesn't do it. Six five comes around. Okay, what hits? Five six five three two three. Four one doesn't. Black is in the driver's seat. Three one. Okay, he gets hit with five two only. 5-1, close cousin of the 5-2, but not as good. I think here you just have to play 7-6. to six. There is no contact here, and I think you're just going to be working to get off of this gammon. Five, 1 I would bring the other one in as well, just to try to get off this. 6-6, six, six. and Gammon incoming. Thank you, Bill Hicks, for the subscription to the Backgammon Galaxy YouTube channel. Feel free to head over to my Backgammon page as well and give me a subscription. My name is Justin Knoll, plays BG on YouTube. We've got a bunch of videos on there, cash games, tournament play, teaching videos, videos of me playing my wife with her having an XG feed on her play as well as mine. Good morning, Simon. How are you? Four, three. And this gammon is guaranteed. Two, one, the worst. Doesn't matter. Oh, it does. I didn't see he had all those checkers there. He can get off of this gammon. Silly stack checkers. Ah. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Score is now four away, six away. Max, I did go to look for this match being played in the other room on our last break, and I wasn't able to find them. One slot, 6-1, followed by 4-1 is a nice way to build fantastic structure early in this game. 6-2, I would play the 6 down 13-7, to seven, and then I would split with the 2. Here, you're just giving yourself up to a lot of contact. Might have given some thought to a cube there, especially after that play where everything hits. Although, now you're in this spot. And why this instead of making the 11? Double twos, and now you're on the roof. We could make a five prime, or we could point on the guy. Wow, what a decision. Yeah, this seems reasonable. Hit with one, six, two, six, three, six. Two, five, three, five, it's 10 numbers. Although if we don't point on him and we just make the bar, he could just roll a three and anchor. Or he could roll a six, one and make the five prime on us. Hmm, tough decision. What do we say in the chat? Give me a one in the chat if you wanna make the point on his head. Give me a two in the chat if you wanna make the prime. One for pointing on his head, two for making the prime. This is 
like the uh, phone a friend and who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah, of course we point on him. Oh, no, we've got some twos in the chat as well. Yes, making the point is superior to the five prime because of course we allow him to just anchor and then it kind of negates a lot of the power of our five prime. Four, four. Wow, that roll is the nuts. 62 likes with 280 viewers. If you wouldn't mind smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm, it would be very much appreciated. And double, or is it too good? This cube has to be a pass. The score is far away and the gammons are high. So we just throw this one away. The question of whether or not uh, it's too good is a real question here, but this is a massive pass. We've got a bunch of ones. And Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. But it is massively better, I want everyone to know at home, to just make the point on his head. By a lot, it's not close. Yes, of course, this is a massive pass. It was a cube as well. Okay, that's good. 2-1 seems reasonable to just make the five point here. That looks like a good play for six. It could hit. They choose to make the four. I like making the four. I, I don't know. I mean, we have these stacks to work with. I, I don't mind this play. Just the six seems so awkward afterwards. I would have to come out with both, and who knows how much I get away with that. Three one makes the five. Black takes total control of this game right away after that roll. 5-3 doesn't get to split or do anything useful, so they just have to go to the five point, which is not great. Double ones, what a shot. Advancing your anchor even more and locking them in there. 2-1, you've got to split immediately up with both. I can see him reaching for the cube. Yikes. Scoops it. Would love to get an update on that data point there. So I would say double take for money. If I'm thinking about it. And at the score. At the score, I, I don't know about the cube. I'm up by a bunch and giving him access to turn this around to a four cube basically annihilates all of my gammon chances when they turn the cube back, right? So just so I can continue to play for a gammon, I don't think I can double. Getting to Crawford with an undoubled gammon is also very valuable. Four, and then the one continues to hit. If he's able to roll an ace here, he might be able to turn this game around. He does not. Double fours. Six will cover. Double sixes does more than that. Why is he doing it with this one? He can leave. He, why doesn't he leave with more? Why doesn't he leave with more checkers? 
I guess he wants to put pressure on the two point this way, but I always get worried about rolling double threes or some silly combination of numbers like this where all of a sudden I can't leave two one. Any four and three will hit, five, six jumps, six, four hits, and I guess we're gonna come down. We're gonna go for this. Double ones. Oh my gosh. Double six comes all the way around like this. Now ones, threes, and fives cover. He needs a deuce to stay in this game. Double twos! Sick. And wow, are we doing this or are we just making the three? I mean, I know we don't want to get hit back. Four, six, what an amazing shot. Double threes. Okay, we make the four and the three point. This is clear, we've got nothing else because we're not going to the one. Yeah, okay, that's good. No, this plays for the birds. I want priming structure. And this will prime. The guy could roll an ace and get stuck there. This looks way better than the other one. Here, no one ever gets stuck anywhere. If you go to the one point, they just enter and hop out, and you're dead. Here, with the one open, you hit a guy, they could roll an ace and get trapped. That's what we're looking for. No, I'll bet against this one. Anyone in the chat want to bet? I'll bet against it. We get rid of the six. Good. Probably won't get a bet now because he, because he made the play. Six four. Five, three. Yikes, we're just breaking the six point, huh? The other option is to leave a five and a three to hit. So I can see his aversion to that. Just make the one. Double ones, that's a fantastic shot. I mean, what else are you gonna do? You should probably continue to move more. He's holding you, you're not holding him. Okay, 6-3. So, wow, I think we just have to come off our anchor. I think we just have to come off our anchor. We just come out with a 6-3, right? Okay, if we play two down, seems very passive but this is like the worst number. Anyone know the answer to that 6-3 in the chat? I'd love to have that information, please. He rolls the four, the four, five, we come out with both. And if he doesn't roll a six, he's playing on. Five one hits. Double fours fans. I wonder if we had a recue at any point when he left the shot. That's a four one, it makes the six. Now he's got two guys closed out.
five one. Five, and then from five to four, probably. Uh, yeah, I mean, this seems okay. I like this play. His board is broken. He's got two on the roof. Winning a gammon here would be huge. 6-1. Yeah, Jakob, if you wouldn't mind looking that up for me, I would love to know the information on the cube there. I asked the question. I would have needed more time to think about it. Six five gets off the gammon. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Thank you, Chris. 632 down was correct. There was a small four cube before the hit, according to Mount Martin. Thank you very much, Stefan Nunez. I really appreciate it. Yes, and if anyone is doing an actual full transcription of this match, I would love to get a PR update. Okay, I mean, here I think I just play 13 8 and step up with the ace. Six one hits. Could also make the five point. Interesting choice there. I would have had to have thought about that one a little bit. Six one was like a perfect number to make the five point with. Five three makes the three. Double ones enters makes the five. Uh, he made the 23 point pretty quickly. I'm not sure about that. I might have played eight to seven. I would have had to have given it some thought. I don't really understand. Oh, he's not on the roof. Okay, I thought he hit somebody. Four, three hits. All right, so white is four away. He is doubling here. Four away, three away though. He does have three guys back and he hasn't rolled the four yet. I... Hmm. I think I'm gonna take... Uh... I think I'm gonna take... Five two. 
Yeah, why not? Let's just make the three point. One, three makes this, and I would split if I were black. There aren't many checkers that can attack you, and making the advanced anchor would have a lot of value. Seems like a good play. Eight to five is also an option, but you are kind of getting primed. Oh no, double ones. They can make the four and now the seven. Five, six hits, five, four anchors. Two, three. Oof. I think I'm just going to play eight to five here. Yeah, I mean, it might be right to step into this, but I'm a little nervous about it. Six, three. What is this? Are we just hitting on the two point? What are we doing here? We could play two down. What an awkward number this is. Wait, is that a 3-6 or a 2-6? That's a 3-6. That was illegal. No? Hold on. What is this? I don't know. It hasn't caught up yet. 3-6. Maybe I missaw the dice. I probably did. The other guy didn't say anything. Oh, it is a 2-6. I'm still looking at the last roll 3-6 on another screen. We've got two screens in here. Wow, what a great number 2-6. Five, three. Guess I play the five down and the three just comes over. Thank you for uh, letting me know it was a two, six. This five, one. Yeah, I like this play. We just come out to the 18. Double six. This is a little fast. This 6-3 again, but it works a little better this time. It gets to make an outside point. Uh, are we doing this? Um, okay, you can definitely lose doing this one, but it will win you more gammons, that's for sure. 2-1, this is one of the sequences where you can lose. But if he rolls a four, that gammon is on. Double fives. Two six. Absolutely brutal. I think I just come out. I don't really need to stick around for that other shot. Makes me nervous sticking around for it, not gonna lie. Yeah, I like this, two, three. Give yourself some more numbers to attack on the one point if he enters. Three, six, he doesn't enter. Five, four, okay, we can just make the outside point coming down, I think. Okay, this is okay too, unless he enters, then you might get stuck. One, three, yeah, you might get stuck. Oh, you see, you got stuck. Now sixes and ones hit. The one is in the window. And the three, I guess. I guess I just play 18 off the 18 with one of them. I'm playing with two blots anyway. So what's a third one, you know? Three, one. White needs a six really bad here to get out of this. Six, three is a fantastic shot. Um, so five, five, this blocks double fives. That's a good roll and a good play. Uh, 
Wow, four, two, okay. I guess we're just going to play 13, sorry, 18 to 12 here, making this point. Pays off to uh, sixes though, not sixes, but eights. Oh, there's the eight. So one five hits back, one six is going to make the anchor. Six six though is not good. Five three hits and goes to the four point. Five four makes the ace. This looks like it's over, folks. Gammon incoming unless he gets a shot. 6-3 is a pretty good number, plays fairly safe. Only sixes, fives, and fours leave a shot after this. One of the sixes enter. 3-2, he's just ripping two off. He wants that gammon bad. 2-3. Two, 3-1 three. Three, just rips off a single checker. Double six. What? How many did he play? Did he just play? How many did he play? He was on the roof with two, no? Or just one? He must have been on the roof with just one when he rolled it, yeah? Okay. One, two, and then he crossed it over. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was already in with one. It was offset, so I couldn't really tell that it was on the board for a second. Two, two. Does not look likely white's going to get off this, but it is possible. Six four, it is possible though. Oh, what a great number. Uh, yeah, this gets off with everything. I said this yesterday and then I missed a number. Everything gets off. Thought he had two on the roof for a second, but he only had one. That saved him temporarily. All right, we are at Crawford. One away, four away. Starting off with the best opening roll in backgammon. 3-1, making the five point. Double twos, steps up and makes the four point, is generally the best play for money. Double ones just makes the four. Yeah, this gets off the gammon with everything just like uh, yesterday, <laughs> unlike yesterday actually, where I missed he could get off with five, what he couldn't get off with five, four, the only number, and then he rolled it. I felt a pretty bad about that actually. Five, one just comes out to the 18. According to Martin Howe, uh, Fred is playing a 5.1. Arm Armand is playing a 4.4 currently using 0.0, .0 seconds of his clock. Double six. Well, we should just bring this all the way around, I think. This is going to win many more games than the other play. And I think what we're trying to achieve here is just a game win. Although, of course, the gammon would have a bit of extra value. I think it's just more important to win. 6-1 just goes to the 3 and from 8 to 7.
Nope, there was no illegal play last game. I double checked the video feed. He had one checker entered with a 6-2 prior to rolling the double six. Everything is totally fine. I missaw it and overreacted as usual. This makes the one. He's trying to find a way to not leave a shot. So I guess we bring in the two checkers from the 10 point and make the ace. He doesn't love it, but you know, we don't have to love our numbers, but we do have to play them. Three, three. Four, one. I don't think there's a need to make the seven because then we're just going to have to break it in a roll. Six, one doesn't leave a shot. Six, one covers. Black is ready for the shot if he gets it. Hey, no worries. Thank you very much, TGWNN. I don't know how to say that. But uh, yes, the Kit Woosley book, um, Backgammon Encyclopedia of Reference Positions, has been out of print for years. Um, and with their permission, I have created a PDF version for sale on my website, Backgammon University. Double six that now anyone can have access to once again. It was one of the uh, resources I used. Oh, I don't think we should waste the pip there. It's one of the resources I used to learn about doubling cube decisions in backgammon. I played out the reference positions ad nauseum at the time. Double fives. He could win a gammon here. Not that, uh, and get to two away. That would be really useful if he could do it. He does not do it though. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Yes, I rewatched that bit a couple times myself here on the screen just to make sure. And no, he didn't do anything uh, wrong at all. We are post Crawford. He has an automatic take at this score with basically anything. So I think uh, White is trying to trick him in some way into passing by getting some sort of overwhelming position before offering the cube. Whether or not that overwhelming position ever transpires is uh, up in the air. Oh, the cube has already been passed. You see, I blink in these games and I think there's some tricks being played, but in reality, I blinked. Thank you, chat, for pointing that out to me. I will try to stop blinking. Although I find it very difficult to not blink. Mm -hmm. 
5-1's a great shot. It makes the 8-point. Now we can only leave with 5s. But not 5-6. That doesn't go anywhere. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we can slot the bar here. I think you should slot the bar because now you have to worry about him rolling a five for the rest of the game. Somebody put that in for me, that's six two. I think we just need to slot the bar. And then he would have made it and then this game would have been done quite well. I think you still need to slot the bar. Why are you worried about getting hit? We need to be worried about him escaping. Somebody put that 6-2 in for me. I think he needed to slot the bar there. Please, inform me. You could even slot the bar and hit, you know? Two, one. Three, three. Hmm. So he needs to hit on the one point. This is for sure. We're not going to let the guy escape, yeah? So. 3-5, he escapes anyway. 5-5, five, five, that does some escaping. Now he's got a massive lead. 6-3. Yeah, just stick around. I like it. What could go wrong? 2-1 hits and makes the ace point. I guess a gammon could go wrong. Yeah, not 6-1, not but the 6-2 that happened before it. Black needs to get in sometime soon, or they are going to be in serious trouble. Six one. Interesting. Yeah, let's rip it and go for it. You win yourself the entire match here. Five two is a great shot. Cleans up the the outside point and leaves yourself with good spare distribution. And the six two enters and plays eight to six. Five two. He's got a chance to get this gammon. Six and five in. He has a chance. He's gonna need a double, I think. Not double ones though, although it does take three checkers off. Two one is definitely not an improvement. Six three. Six five. Four three, okay. Gammon saved. Nothing t misses. Uh, let's, 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 let's go, 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 go. Yeah. yeah, go. 
Maybe they're discussing yeah, something it's, 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 about money now that they're at DMP. Makes sense. A lot of people like to hedge at this point if they've gotten this far in the tournament. Maybe he feels the momentum is slipping away and they want to give themselves the opportunity to talk about a way to chop up the money. This is just an assumption of mine. Maybe he just wants a smoke break, you know? I'll be back in a moment. Smash the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Find me on YouTube as well. Justin Knoll plays BG. How many likes do we have? 88, but we have 374. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. 
Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world. Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. 
The Earthboard is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC.
Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two... All right, we are back. And both men are smiling, so that's good. That must mean they have come to some sort of arrangement. And the player on the right is still alive, so the arrangement must have gone well. Just joking. Um, they both are in very good spirits. I like this, you know. Backgammon is a game. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah. 5-3, okay. I come down with the 5. I split with the 3. All right, 6-3, I guess, just has to hit. One six misses. Yeah, I like coming out to the 18. Six five, okay. So I do this and I think I just smack them on the one point. One five, this enters and then goes to the 13. 3-2. Um, I would think about slotting the five point there. I would seriously consider slotting the five point. Uh, we're at DMP now, and so, you know, we're down in the race already. We would really like to just make our structure and hope to constrain the guy. I like, to, I like to hope to get away with good plays instead of hoping for good numbers because I can't control my numbers, but I can control how I play. Five, six is a great shot. It enters and comes out. He gets hit with twos. He gets hit with tens and elevens. The two hits. Thank you very much, Stuart Carroll. I appreciate it. Nice to see you back in the chat today. The two hits and the five just probably comes out. Double fours, this enters and hits. And what are we doing with the other ones? I don't know about that. I mean, it doesn't seem bad or anything, but I probably would have slotted one of the points. Double six. And then we come out with two of them. Yeah, yeah, let's do this and then make the point on his head. Uh, 
Black's doing pretty good right now. 4-1 enters and makes the two, sure. This would be annoying if he rolls a three, though, and gets to make it. He doesn't, though. What is this do-nothing number? All right. 2-6 fans. Double fours makes the three point. Four four fans. There's the three to make this. And the two just does this, okay. Five one hits, he really needs a five right now. Five one, a hitter. He needs an ace to hit back from the roof. Five six just comes out. This game became interesting. 5-3 misses. 3-1. is not a great number. I think I just slot the three point here. Ah, we could do it this way. Hmm. He runs out, I only have a single shot. I know I get hit with eight, six, two, and five, three, but I think I would still slot the three point. I'd like to start building my board. I know there's some risk involved. Five, four, you can make the three point this way. Black needs some big numbers to get off of this. 6-5 is a great shake. 5-4. Gotta hit the guy. I know you don't like it. What is this? So if you let the guy run, you're dead. So you gotta hit the guy. You just have to assume he's not going to hit you, and he just rolls an a6 or something and stays back there. I think you're down a bunch. And it's not like the gammons really matter. So I think you got to hit the guy. Does he know the original position? He. You got to hit the guy. You can't be afraid to win. 4-2, okay, he's still there. After not hitting, I almost root for the guy to uh, to roll the 6-5, which is, you know, but he would have been punished. He could still be punished here, though. 3-1, just steps up. He needs to point on him. 5-3, you have to hit. 5 down, 3 hits. Can't be afraid to win. You have to be afraid to lose. You can't be afraid to win. Hitting is necessary. I know it's a little scary, but we still have to go outside, you know? Yikes. This one is not good. Okay, I mean, maybe you roll double fives now, double fours. 2-1, okay. 6-4. And now you're just losing the race. Or you were. Five two. 
Black's going to need some big numbers here, 6-1. Five two, six two. All right, Black's doing okay. Five four is a double miss. That's not good, but he won't miss any more. Oh, double ones, two low numbers, not good. One two three four five rolls for Black. Six rolls for White. If Black doesn't miss, he wins. 6-1 is a misser. I go from 5 to 4 like this. Or sorry, that's from 4 to 3. 4-3. Four, 3-2, three. Three, not good. 3-2. Black needs big numbers. There's a 6. Don't waste it. No, 6-1. All right. He still has a 3-roll position versus a 4-roll. He can afford a miss, but he wants to stop rolling aces. One, two, three, four. That is gin. Wow. Whew. That was exciting. <laughs> All right, well. Heck of a game, heck of a game. Even with the double sixes, after not uh, hitting, he was still able to win it with a double fours in the end. Fantastic. I'm sure uh, the player that hedged is happy regardless. I mean, of course, you would have preferred to have won, but the hedge really helped. And Armand played an amazing 3.7 using zero seconds on the clock for the entire match almost. He still has... 29 minutes and 43 seconds left on his clock, which is amazing to play that strong with that much time left. I mean, that is world-class level of play if I've ever seen it. And Frederick Carlson played a 4.7, also a fantastic PR. That was a great match. Very happy to have done commentary for it. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. We've got more matches coming up after lunch. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back here around 3, 3.30. If anyone is interested, uh, please go over to my YouTube page as well. Don't leave this one, but you know, at some point, Justin Knoll plays BG, subscribe there. I'm also available for backgammon lessons, Justin at backgammonuniversity.com. All right, and I will see you guys a bit later. Have a good one. Now, thank you guys for being great in the chat. We appreciate you. Have a good one, guys. I'll be back.
Any bad news? warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock.
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Cashew Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now, while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Cashew Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. 
We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. 
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon, a grandmaster's guide for beginners and intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to 
use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now, while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop 
www.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earthboard options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock.
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Cashew Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Cashew Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. 
We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. 
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed. The least Nordic out to Mark. So for, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not a part of the decision making. Okay. But. And there's a company that changed in this term. They got more quickly to this one. This is off, right? No, it's not off. Look, you want to have a smoke? Smoke one cup. It's a good call, by the way. Feel free to start. Take a smoke if you like.
the problems with my head now. Oh. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm feeling too good. <laughs> you know, hopefully, I'll be back in break here in a few weeks. If it's oh. not too bad, I hope. <laughs> not too bad. It's not so bad. Here. All right, we are back. We are in the undefeated finals of the championship bracket here at the 2024 Nordic Open. We have our men, uh, how do you pronounce his last name, Mark? Katra, Katrayan? Gosh, I'm so American when it comes to pronunciating names, pronouncing names. I can barely pronounce my own last name, to be fair. Hans Libby, though, got no problem with. Armand played an amazing match last go around. He used, uh, I mean, almost no time on his clock during the entire 17 point match and ended up playing a 3.7 PR. So his level of play is very strong. And Hans Libby, of course, is very strong. Do you know anything about Hans Libby? You can tell me, Mark. Yeah, he was in the first UBC uh, contender tournament and he played a 4.1. He was in the first UBC contender tournament and played a 4.1. So we have a very strong player here as well. I, of course, know the name Hans Libby from watching the tournaments online. So I know he's strong. 5-4 can make the advanced anchor. How's everyone doing out there in chat land today? If you haven't yet, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or any comments you want to toss in the chat, please feel free to do so. I have one eye on the chat, one eye on the match. We will be here for the full 17-pointer. And then, of course, we'll have other matches later in the day after the dinner break. Okay, 5-4. Not sure who this is for. Are they both using the baffle box or is someone using the cups? Okay, they're both using the baffle box. Daniel Sorensen in the chat says, go Norway. Hans Libby, fellow Norwegian. Six four comes out and makes the deuce point. That's a great roll. Escaping that back checker seemed pretty important. He was getting squeezed a bit. Six two. Yeah, this might be necessary, only because black is so stripped everywhere on the board that he might leave a shot now and he doesn't have to. So this is gonna get a little bit awkward. Five, two, okay. Guess I would just play six to four. I don't wanna break my board right now, but this does give black the ability to run off his anchor with some sevens, but not three, two. This just clears the eight. No, no, no. Don't break your board. Now he's a little less worried about uh, breaking his anchor, yeah? 13-7, 4-2. This seems pretty clear. Double twos. Pretty good shake if you ask me. Double six fans, cube, and pass. Don't want to be taking positions like these when you've got yourself on the roof against a five-point board, but maybe you just uh, count it and to let the clock run down a little bit and then pass in a minute or so. It's fine. It's your time. You do what you will.
How is everybody out there in chat land? Chatlandia. Got 128 likes on the video so far. Thank you very much. Yesterday we passed 200. I could actually go check online, see how many likes yesterday's video has. It would be great to get more likes today than we had yesterday as we get closer to the finals. This is the undefeated championship final, meaning that this is the last match of the undefeated players. I don't think this is the actual tournament final, though. This is just the final of the undefeated players. The loser of this, I believe, will go into another bracket to continue to play to see who gets to the actual championship round. Double six, okay. So what are we going to do? We can make the four and the two point. That looks pretty strong. I think this seems like what I might do. We could also make the four and the seven. which is also quite strong. It does give up the midpoint, but it's worth looking at because if he doesn't roll a four here and he doesn't make like the five point in front of you or run out, we could just have a cube. Yeah, I mean, it would be great to see um, the PRs here as well. If anyone is at home doing a transcription of this match, that would be nice to see. Decides to make the seven. I was unsure. Uh, I think this just gets you to a cube, though. 4-3, and I guess I'm going to double because we're a roll away from just making the 6 prime. He scoops it. 6-1 doesn't do anything. So, yeah, we just come out. I like coming all the way out to the 15. We could also come out to the 18 and play eight to seven. That would give us good numbers as well to help make the five in the future. If there's a spare on the seven, we can use a two much easier to, uh, to make the five point. And we can still use a three from the eight to make the five point because the black checker doesn't have direct contact with it. So maybe coming out to the 18 and eight to seven is a little bit better, even though it's going to get hit a bit more. Alex asked about hitting eight to one. Yeah, that's also a pretty good option. I don't know, I uh, hate letting him just come off of the 24 point. I generally think that's like a liability for him to be there, but it would put him in the air. Does anybody have that info? Three, one, just makes the five point. Okay, as long as he doesn't roll a five or a six, he'll make the five point himself, and he does. See, now he has a six prime. He just steps up trying to get out. Black really wants to make the bar now to try to have some sort of counter prime, and he does get to make the, well. Hmm, yeah, I guess we just make the four. I like this. Nice little counter prime going on. This four has to come out. Yep, this looks strong. We don't want to get stuck back there. Double twos. And maybe I just uh, slot the nine point, to be honest. Uh, I would like to make the six prime. And since I'm trying to crack a six prime, having the nine point seems really useful because if I don't get him to crack, I can't win. 2-1 makes the advanced anchor, that's really strong. 6-5. Six, 
and a six from white would seal the deal almost. Okay, so they're running out of time. Oh, double fives, the absolute worst, a shot lever. And now he has threes to hit. Uh, the dice gods are funny creatures though. Okay, not this roll, they're not. Look at this three, two, just hits on the one. I was thinking, you know, there's numbers like five, two that still break the board. He's looking at like hitting on the deuce and making the one. This is uh, entertaining, but certainly a good way to try to lose the game. Don't think it's entirely necessary. I think you win enough gammons as is, and you don't really lose any games by doing this other sort of thing here. The guy rolls a six and you fan one time, and then he rolls another six. All of a sudden you're a dog, which of course would not be good. What's going on here? I mean, black still does have a four point bore. I mean, this seems okay, I guess. But I don't know about breaking my prime here. He could definitely lose if he rolls a deuce. Two fours going to hit loose. Five four fans. 6-5, you cover. Why are you doing this? You just cover and go to the 1? Yeah. Five, five, five. Six one. Double twos fans. I mean, I've been backgammon this way before, where the guy rolls doubles, I roll double ones, they roll doubles, uh, you know, I roll two three. But no backgammon here. The gammon, though, seems to be on the line. He's gonna need a big double in order to get off of this. Four two is not it. Don't think there's any way to get off of it now. And that's four points there for Hans Libby. Listen, Armand uh, almost had him counterprimed in that game, to be fair. The guy rolled double fives, his absolute worst number that kept, uh, that broke his board and left another blot. Could have easily won that game if it weren't for that roll. Let's not forget about that sequence that happened, you know?
putting in the decision from last game. See what it looks like. I mean, clearly, very difficult to take, but it was taken. Only got one guy back. Oh, he's down 22 pips before the roll as well. No, it was a take. Ah. Very well done by our friend Arman. He's a very strong player, by the way. The last match he played on stream here, he played at a 3.7 and I think barely used a second on the clock. Five two. Uh, he could have stepped up with the deuce. I would have considered that. I mean, I would have been hit with this five two. Um, but I would have considered stepping up with the deuce, just because you're getting primed. Six three covers the four point. Double ones, great shot. Let's make the five and hit the other checker. We worry about stepping up tomorrow. And now I'm going to play eight to seven here. I mean, the last ace doesn't really matter. I would have played eight to seven. Not that I think it matters all that much. I'd say probably black might have a small advantage here. I know they're not at the edge of the prime. but at least he doesn't have three checkers behind it. This is a really important roll. Double threes points on him. One five. All right. I mean, if he doesn't roll a three one or a six here, he's in deep trouble, White is. Double fours and that might be the end of the game. You could probably think about a cube here, yeah? Anytime you roll a five, you probably lost your market. Look at the strength there of our friend Armand, huh? Just giving him the cube from the roof like it's nothing. To be honest, I mean, you could probably take that cube. Uh, just thinking about it now, like the guy's on the roof. I have an anchor. I'm at the edge of the prime. He hasn't entered yet. He could fan. I could roll a six. There's another blot in the outfield. I'm just kind of going through my own thought process here. I love the cube from the roof, but I think you can take that. All right, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that was a that was in that was a take. If anybody could put that in, I think I would take that. And I'm gonna say take that quickly. I'm gonna take it quickly. I think it's a it's an easy scoop. All right, so we're gonna make the five point with these double fours, and then my last four is going to go 24 to 20. I mean, how could this be bad? We're making the five, right? We're keeping the eight. 
We've got a three-point board versus our opponent's one-point board. This looks very strong. The four is not as good. And you get hit back with five, three, which, you know, can happen. And the four isn't as good as the five. Why is he doing it this way? Now he's leaving a shot with one, one, four, one, three, one, three, six, four, five. I mean, those are numbers for sure. Maybe he's just counting the race here. What? He left the shots? Why? If that was uh, Black's last roll, I think White could be warming up the cube here. He must be up in the race. You've got better board. Black is anchored, but they have absolutely nothing. I would like the cube more if we had made the other double fours play, of course, but you give this. Armand passes. He doesn't want anything to do with it. Yeah, I mean, it does give more builders for future action, but we noticed that after he fan, there is no more future action, right? He just doubles and he passes. So it's better to make a more conservative play if your ultimate aim is to win using the cube, because if he rolls one of these other numbers that hits you or turns the action, then you don't get to use the cube because now you don't have a double anymore. Yeah, is this a play? 4-6. We could just make the 9 and come out with the 6. I think I generally like making points over hitting loose. I think this is something Michi said. It's better to make a point than it is to hit loose, which I agree with wholeheartedly. Unless I think it's wrong, then I don't agree with it. But, you know, that's how it goes. Four, three, hits on the five point. Five, four, should just make the 20 point anchor. Five, three, runs with a hit. Two, five, that can enter and hit back if that's something you want to do. You could also enter and just play six to four. Probably going to enter and play six to four. Uh, this sort of, I mean, obviously I know they have nothing on the other side, so maybe we shouldn't be afraid, but like, I don't know. I don't mind just settling into some sort of game at some point and just going, okay, I've got a five deuce game. I'm going to start building my board. You know, and just work on it later. Plus the sight of having three checkers on my two point like that makes me makes me kind of sick. Double threes, okay. And then they should make the three point, of course. See if they can get away with this. Four, three. This is a fantastic number. It hits and makes the 10 point. Two, six. 
from the bar. And he just comes out, of course. Now that you have this double anchor game, you can really lean into it, right? One five. Yeah, let's hit the guy. I'm hitting now. My board is good. I'm sending the guy back. He hits me. It's not a big deal. Two four is an awkward number. Oh, no, it's not. He can enter with the four and play the two down. It's actually a fantastic number. Two six is terrible again. Yikes. Sheesh. Yeah, I feel like you almost have to hit, even though everything hits you back that enters. Now you've got these four checkers on the 24 point. No, sorry, four checkers on the 23 point. I don't love it. Is there any chance I can just play 24, 23? Uh, one, six. All right, six, five. This does nothing. We can make the 14 point and the eight point, which I think is what I'm going to do. Cleans up a bunch of the blots I have in the outfield. I can make the eight and I can make the 14. Uh, I don't love this one. It leaves fours and ones and twos and threes and fives to hit me. That sounds like almost every number. And if every number hits me, that can't be good. I don't know if he sees he can make the 14 and the eight. Or maybe he just doesn't want to. Armand is a very good player, by the way. Uh, I can tell by how he plays these games that he like he's just strong. And I like his confidence about it as well. He sees my play now. I think I would choose this one. But I can see the problem. You have all the checkers on the 24 and 23. It just looks bad. But at least we're not playing with 6,000 blots. Three, one. Okay, we could make the five. We could also make the three point and not leave a blot. I think both look good. I like this one better because it doesn't leave a shot. 6-4 hits and comes out. Or we can remake that, but I, it's tough, man. So many difficult decisions. Remaking the eight, coming out. Thank you, Alex. I thought so. 24, 20 to 14, 13-8 is the best by a lot. Yeah, I mean, everything else just leaves basically every number except for double six to hit you, which would be bad. Nice to see you today in the chat, Alex. It's tough. 
So, uh, I'm going to, I don't know. I'm going to maybe keep the 14 and just come out. Maybe he fans and I get to make the 18, you know? That's all I could hope for. And then I get to keep that outside point, so that quadrant ends up being mine, you know? Oh, I love it. I mean, how can I pass, uh, you know? Look at my board, it's, it's good. How can I pass? You might not roll a four, and even if you do, oh, he rolls the four, three. Amazing, so now he needs a five, three, five, four from the roof, two, six. Ugh. That's like, uh, I mean, you might as well fan rolling a two six if you ask me. Five two. Yeah, why not? You could play two down, try to make the five before you jump off of your anchor. Two three just comes here, and I think I'm just gonna come out to the 18. Tons of numbers point on the five point, so I don't want that to happen, not on my head at least. Here, if the guy rolls a 6-5, he's going to make the 5 point, but at least I get a return shot, you know? Two four hits back. Do it quickly before the dice change their mind. Best case scenario for him, he fans and then he's able to make that point and then you can start inching forward. Six one, not a part of the plan. You need very specific fives and threes to get out of this uh, hole that you're in. He fans again, four one. Not ideal. That was a what? That was a big pass, apparently. Wow, shocking. If it was put in correctly, maybe I can go back in the video and type that into my phone really quickly at the score and see when that cube was turned. All right, I'm here. I mean, there are just so many blots, right? I wouldn't be surprised. So here, like this, and here, like that. Put this into the phone. It's the best I've got right now. A 17 point match, two points for one side, five for the other, which makes a big difference. Yeah, it was a 200 pass. Look at that. Wow, it's even an 80 pass for money. Yikes. What if he made the other six and hopped out here? Okay, now it's still a small pass for money. Wow, that was a massive pass. And it still might work. Fantastic cue by Armand. Four. Two. Yeah, I guess we don't step off our anchor yet. Two, one. Gets to pick up this blot out here. So if white's able to roll a five, I might like their position, but they don't roll a five, so it's still a bit hairy. An ace here would be fantastic. He does roll it. Ah, you can, wow, you can make the five and concede the outfield, or you can hit and step up. 
That is such a tough decision. He makes it so quickly and confidently. And me, myself, I'm just like, I don't know, man. I, I would have to put some serious thought into that and look at different variations after different rolls. I mean, stepping up has a lot of value. Of course, hitting has a lot of value, but so does the five. Okay, I mean, you have to switch, I think. We switch and play six to five and then move an ace somewhere else. The problem with not switching is black might just roll an ace or some number to hit you in the outfield. I mean, six to five seems pretty good. Gives you a few extra numbers to make the deuce point, which you might want to try to do. Why not switch? Now he gets hit with nines. Ace is hit as elsewhere. Three fives, a fantastic shot, Getting able, being able to pick that guy up. Do you want to toss him into the outfield? He does. Oh, 6-2. What a play. I think I just bring this checker into the five point. Maybe he doesn't roll an ace, and I'm still able to make the 18 point with a five. No. I think you want to try to make the 18 point, yeah? And you don't want to play with two blots. Okay, so the 6-2 just plays to the 8 point. Five, and the deuce, see? Big upgrade there because of that play. Although he would have been able to make the outside point with 5-2 anyway, provided he wasn't hit. 4-2. Do we just control the outfield or do we make the ace point? So if we jump out into the outfield, we get hit with 10s and 12s. So 6-4 and 5-5 five, five are three numbers. And 12 is also three numbers, I believe. Double threes, double sixes, double fours. That's six hitters. And that would be pretty bad. So, I mean, this does offer more control, but at a very steep cost. This is a bit awkward, but uh, doesn't want to hop off the anchor, obviously. Wow, 5-2. Hmm, interesting. You can make the outside point. I don't know why you're attempting fate again. 2-1 just breaks the 6 point.
I would have made the outside point and probably slotted the ace. Double six, that's a direct shot. And this guy goes to the deuce point. It's a pretty big swing after that roll. Black has a great opportunity here. If he can find a six in the cup, he does find a six, not in the cup, in the baffle box. He needs an ace from the roof to hit back. Six, five, comes out. Double three is what a number. Safeties and escapes the two back men. 3-1 comes down. I don't know if I would slot the point. Yeah, this seems fine. Just aim at making it, I guess. Where this number stops is double fours. One, two, three, four, okay. What does he get hit with? Tens, six, four, and five, five. Six, five is not it though. If you're gonna do this, I guess I would just continue all the way. think I mean hmm six one now we're in a race black has a commanding lead Five three two checkers off. Three one. Yeah, just make it. He could roll six five, right? Nope. Three two. Make the point on his head. Maybe he rolls a six and just is forced out. He's not. Three one. Six four, the worst number in the cup, leaves a shot. Any ace will turn this game around. Six six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, both are fine. I yeah, do this. It's it's good. Three two. Three in, six off. Five, four. He's going to need some bigger numbers than that if he wants to come back in this race. Six, two. Needs to start with a big double six right now. Five, four. Six, four. Oh, all right. That pretty much ends that. Six, two, but not entirely. He could roll a deuce. Nope. Six, five. If he doesn't roll fives or better here, that's over. And it is over. Nice to not get gammon there from Hans Libby. It looked for a second that he might win that game, to be honest. We found out from the chat that the cube that was taken was a big pass leading in the match. 200 pass. Also, I found out, small pass for money. I think I might have taken, to be honest, but. Ah, there's, I mean, you had four checkers on the, the 23 point. We all see that that is not ideal. And now we know, right? The trick is to like see stuff like this and remember what was correct and just choose better with the a greater amount of information we've been afforded by all being here watching this amazing stream today brought to you by Backgame and Galaxy. Games like that are why we watch Backgammon. Everything is a bit in the weeds and the mud, you know, cube is taken, game gets turned around a bit. At the end, he fights his way out of the turnaround. Uh... 
Okay. I mean, I might have made the anchor, but I can see the problem with it. Uh, your sixes are trapped. Don't allow you to escape. I probably would have still made the anchor. Um, I just like that little extra bit of security. Makes me feel good. I do not have access to the PRs, but if anybody in the chat is doing a transcription, they can always update us. I'm sure there might be some uh, Norwegians or some Swedes or somebody out there who might be doing a live transcription of this. Seems like a very good match to do it when they have two very good players playing. Of course, I make the bar here. I just assume my opponent's not going to roll an ace, and then if they don't, I'm going to cube them. This is the other option, but this gets turned around quite quickly with 6-1 and 6-2 and 6-3 and double six. I mean, it looks okay, but the other one looks much stronger, I think, maybe. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. But I mean, look at how nice this looks. This looks like I'm one roll away from a cube. Yeah. No swing there, huh? Double and pass. I would take time to think about it, though, for a minute. Hilarious, the swing on that one roll, you know? The thing is, if you get to win with the cube, you don't have to worry about your back checkers being stranded. I will say Black's back checkers were also quite stranded. The squeeze just felt much stronger after one play versus the other. All right, three splits, six comes down because we're trying to make that anchor, of course. Two, one. I mean, okay, yeah, yeah, we gotta hit him off. Step up, looks good. Five, five fans, all right, let me just look at the position. Look at the board. I mean, it does look pretty good. If I cover and he enters, is it a pass? No. Hmm. How optimistic am I feeling today? So I think I take, this is part one, right? If I'm not sure if it's a double or a no double. First question I'm going to ask myself from the other guy's perspective, am I taking or passing? I've decided I'm going to take. So is it good enough for a cube? I've got nine checkers in the zone, one guy on the roof. I don't know the race. The race would be pertinent information to me. This always very helpful, me knowing the race. So let me give it a count. He doesn't double. So for money, this probably be a cube. We're up by a couple pips. At the match score, I'm gonna say likely no double since we're leading. I don't know, it looks pretty close to double, no double. I think the take is pretty easy though. Might be a cube though, I'm not sure. One five, this is definitely a cube now. You roll that six, you're you're doing really good. So, I mean, I might take my time and hem and haw about it for a little bit just to pretend like it may or may not be a cube, but my opponent is very strong, so... And he has strong convictions as well. 
So I don't feel like any of my actions are actually going to be influencing him one way or the other. Double six, the worst. Now this is definitely a pass. Two, two. Okay, wow, this is interesting. Do we just make the six prime, yeah? I think so. Okay, it might break if he points on us. Huh, that's a tough decision, actually. Another one of the worst rolls. Now it doesn't matter. I mean, now you're really happy you just made the six prime, and now you can sit back on the anchor forever. Well, we're not breaking the prime, so we know the play. We are not breaking the prime, so we know the play. What? Why are we breaking the prime? What does this serve? You can play the 2 1. I know he might have wanted to got, get like maybe some more shots or something. Uh, but. Oh, 2-4. Why are we breaking the 6 prime again? To stop him from anchoring on it? 1-6, okay. Better than 3-6, I can tell you that. 6 and 2 hits. Two, three. Six, three. This should just go to the one point. We're not going to just jump into a double shot. I mean, now this makes more sense if you're going to do it now. Actually, don't mind this play this time. I mean, this game is like virtually impossible to lose. And a lot of these entering numbers leave double shots for you from the roof. So yeah, do it. Hit them and just play eight to seven. I'd play eight to seven. Yeah, give yourself sixes and fives to cover. I mean, I know you're worried about some variation where he rolls a two and then you fan and then he hits you with a six on the way out. But if you were that worried, why break the eight point to begin with? One, two, three, four. Double ones, just sitting there waiting for another shot, of course. Two checkers stuck behind a six prime, just trying to not get gammoned in this game. He's doing a fantastic job, just waiting for another shot. He's hoping not to roll it. Oh, double twos. That is better than some numbers. He misses him. It's interesting. We can start thinking about like trap plays to get the guy off of the 24 point now that he's broken down to a two point anchor. By trap plays, I mean just breaking the seven, allowing him to escape with some numbers and trying to catch him in the outfield. Five, five. This comes in and takes a checker off. I'm not worried. Uh, Black has a two-point board. 
That's not true. Two, one, and six to five. You break it, Alex. So you leave the shot there. You let him hit you. So when you enter, you catch him in the outfield. Then he fans a bit longer, and maybe we win more G's that way. It's possible for sure. Broken down to a two-point board, you basically do whatever you want. Don't know if it's right, though. I like to think about it, though. 6-1, not a shot lever. Not that he's worried anyway. Just trying to get the gamut out of this. 3-2. It's quite possible. He doesn't want to see a 4, though, I'll tell you that. I mean, I just lift it. Double six, that saves the gammon, he hopes. Although, big double's incoming, maybe it doesn't. He needs to turn the corner here, or else he'll be in some serious trouble. No serious trouble at all. He sees, he's trying to avoid four three. He's seen this before. I don't know if there is a way to avoid four three though. He rolls 4-3 followed by double twos. It wasn't meant to be. 6-5. All right, little break time here. I'm going to go grab something to drink. I will be back in a moment. If you are here and you are enjoying this backgammon match, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm having a great time this week here out in Copenhagen, just watching this backgammon, hanging out, talking with the guys. It's beautiful out here, by the way.
Okie dokie. Sorry for the delay, ladies and gentlemen. I am back. Um, I am locked out of the iPad here. What do we have? Got Hans, Libby, and Armand playing in a match here. I just have to unlock this iPad. Give me a second here. We've got a 4-3 to play. This is for, I don't know whose side this is. Be right back. Got to get this unlocked. Okay, tough decision here for Hans. This is Sven Olav speaking. What do you do here? Yeah, he finds the take. It's a quite brave take, maybe. Let's see what happens. 3-1. Yeah, we had a uh, quite bright take here from uh, Hans. I guess it was correct, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we've got the chat here. I missed the double, of course, trying to get the iPad unlocked, but we are back. He entered with a 3-1 here. Uh, I think, is it a 3-1? Yeah. 
Yes, there's yeah. a three one here. Of course, we can hit and just make the three point, or I guess oh, they entered with I the hit, three. Twenty three, but okay. It's a tricky move. Hans is uh, maybe aiming for the back game here. Let's see if he gets the playable position. Yeah, he does. Wow. I didn't see where he took. He had the two on the 24 and one on the 23. What is he? Was, uh, oh, it's double fours. And one slot on the three. And all those problems are solved now. Here, and uh, I guess we just do this and maybe just slot the point. Seems yeah, like the most well. reasonable course of action. Because then he would have to break his anchor to hit you, which is not something he necessarily wants to do right now. So 5-3, I guess I would just make the five point. Yeah, decision, decision. Just play 13 to five, right? And just make the five. Maybe, but I like that. Keep them in, keep them. I don't it's either that or he's gonna go full full beast mode and double hit on the four and the three. <laughs> yeah, I love that. But uh, I would probably okay, just make okay. the structure. Nice. But while also keeping the eight point. Okay. Now, white's problem is it's not the back game, it's the no timing. Let's see what happens. You just play 13 9, I guess. Yeah, nice. Try to. Hmm. What else? I don't like. I like your play. I just play pure. He hits me, he yeah. hits me. I come in, I recirculate, I hope. And if he doesn't hit me, then I'm doing pretty good. Yes. No, I mean, in no. these sorts of games where you have so many men committed to like being stuck back, you just have to be efficient with the use. And now he has a 4-3 and he feels uncomfortable running off of his anchor, which is probably something he might have to do anyway. Uh, what? Why would you do this instead yeah. of play two down if you're going to do this? I like your idea with running, maybe, too big, but the idea is nice. The thing is, you're up so much in the race. Look at this. It's a back game and, with the prime. And now you're getting stuck, yeah? So you did it to yourself a bit. Uh -huh. Last thing you want to do is prime yourself when you're... you're <laughs> Getting stuck in a back game. Double threes. It's like the worst. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. I just lift everybody, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Don't want to put a checker on the one point, so. I, I I'm not going to let him out. He might break, and then I'm really doing good. Just no blot is also playable. He can, he can make the timing next draw. Yes. The problem with this is I mean, he just might roll 4-3 and he could bring everybody around while you stay dancing. Yeah, and, and fives is huge if he, if he blocks them. I guess. I would play safe, yeah, like this. I do this only to hold the 8 point for an extra roll. And maybe the guy breaks. Yeah, maybe he just breaks the 9 point on the other side of the board. And then I'm yeah. doing pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Then I get to hop out, hopefully, off of the 20, uh, 20, 22 or something. But I'm keeping the eight point right <laughs> where like it is. I like he's trying to create something here. I think huh. he just keeps on putting them back, hoping he'll have a different number next time he looks at the dice, you know? Mm -hmm. Whatever it does, don't leave the eight points because that's my favorite point. If you do that, you're not my fan for at least two minutes. I'm <laughs> very unhappy. And that's regardless of the position. I just, just always keep the principle. Point. <laughs> okay, keep the eight. I, don't know the I do this. I mean, it seems okay for now. I'm not over committing to a back game I might not have to be in if black crunches their nine point, right? Good point, yeah. Maybe slot the two and some of the threes. I mean, nine to two is fine with me. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Anytime I'm in a back game, I'm just trying. Oh, What's the roll? Five, four. 
Here is the timing. One more. Oh, I don't like. Okay. Double threes. Well, well, well. I don't think that's a good roll. No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's probably fine. I mean, yeah. it's not like black really has a priming structure in front of your back men anyway, so you should be able to recirculate those, hopefully. Yeah, but he has disaster sixes now, so let's hope he can hold his position together. That's true. He does not want to roll uh, six one, six uh, six two. What? Six five, on the other yeah, hand, is a very good number. It's forced to hit. Oh, this could help him yeah, time this yeah, game. Yeah, everything works. If he does this, it's okay. But he hits with a deuce. It's perfect. Two three. Mm -hmm. Dallas is okay here. Yes, good. Hans. I vote for Hans. I'm, I'm sorry to all of you. All of you voting for Arma. <laughs> I know how. 6-6 six, six is a little fast. We lost 12 pips. 1-6 just comes out from the 24. Yes. It's quite we don't want that checker there. Quite important. Timing is everything. Is the thing. Yes, the timing now. I'm almost... Not yet, but soon I want to be white here. That's a dead checker. I was just thinking about whether or not I even wanted to hit, but... I don't, I'm not making the seven point. No? I don't need it, I don't want it. And once I make it, I'm going to have to break it, and then I could leave a shot from there, which is not what I want to do. Yeah, he clearly. Okay. And this is one of the problems with leaving all the shots on the seven, eight, and nine points, is that once you get hit, you might just fan forever, and you might not really be increasing your wins, but you'll certainly be increasing your gammon losses. And in a game like this, you could have won coming forward. If gammons didn't matter, of course the play would be better, but unfortunately, gammons pay double. Yeah, but you, you have to try to forget about it and focus on the timing, which is even more important. So you, if, you, if I'm right, I want to roll small, yeah, quite small. Okay, I want to jump, of course. Um, it should play even more purely if it's possible. I don't see the yeah, there was a chance to slot the three, but you might get a shot right now, okay. yeah, which yeah, you do. Yeah. Wow. So there's your four and your three. I guess it's just a double shot from here. Fours and twos make this fun. There's a four in the window. <laughs> so we hit, of course, first. Step Sometimes one. Sometimes no hit in this position. Don't Never. No. Nope. In, in this position. <laughs> no. I, yes, yes. But similar ones, if you don't have the board, you okay. should consider no hit. But I agree. Two. With I, I come off the 23 with one. And then I, I stay on the 24 with one, just in case the guy rolls 1-5. I think that's funny. I made three, made an eight. Okay. Does he roll 1-5? One, 1-4 one, is funny as well. Ooh, no. And how many checkers does he have now off? Now he maybe has a double. Five. Mm, he's doing pretty good. But I think, oh, he's in the lead. He can't double. Okay. The match score is big no double, of course. Oh, it's, sorry. It's the long match to 17. Hmm. I thought we had the, the 11. Well, I mean, would you take? Hmm. Good question. You know, the guy's shooting at fives and threes. The ace could keep you trapped as well. I was watching the chat here. Someone had an XG for this one. I don't know if I trust XG here. He's counting the checkers again, making sure the guy knows he only has five off. <laughs> Yeah, they are. Is it 24 hitting numbers to begin with? That's two thirds. So for money, this I mean, is a pretty I, big recue. I mean, if you if you miss here as white, you're not you're quiet. Ah, oh, oh, sorry, it's the back checker. Yeah, you have to double there, I guess. I mean, black is quite dead, isn't it? It's essentially even money, to whether or not you want a double or no double. Uh, for money, this is a big cube. 
He doubles to 64 because that's scarier. <laughs> yes, of course. But he passes, and this is actually wow. quite a... Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. I can't talk because the ad's on. Well, one thing about these positions as well is that, like, only one side is getting gammoned, yeah? Uh, because one side already has five checkers off. So the question is, like, do you win more than, you know, for money, do you win more than 25%, right, since you can't get gammoned? Yeah. And I think you do because you already have five checkers off. Hmm. And you might not be hit. And yeah. if you can pick up the checker, yeah. you know. At the score, I think it makes the take easier. Yeah. And the cube less likely. But it worked out. It's fine for Hans. Yes, you can't get somebody to make a mistake if you don't put them to the test in making a decision, yeah? So... Nice start here for Hans again. Let's see. What's the uh, cube action here for the, for the leader? For the leader, you can give, uh, I mean... I mean, this is a fairly strong position, but he only has one guy back, and now that there's some structure for black, I'm not doing anything for a while. I don't like this as much. I like making the four and the two points better just because it developed the stacks on the eight and the six a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Now he stripped his eight point. So now if he rolls a four to hit, he's breaking that. Two six. Okay, I guess we hit and slot the three point. Yeah, yeah, no matter. Six. Get hit back. Gets to make the anchor. Yeah. I wonder, score-wise, how conservative should the Hans be here in the 10-5 lead? Seven away, 12 away. Pretty conservative, I would say. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to be giving an easy one, allowing my opponent to... Uh, give me any quick recubes to four because those are so much harder to take for the leader, those recubes to four. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, you could double tiger there if you wanted to really live on the edge. Ah, good point. Hit on the four and hit on the deuce, something I would have oh. really given some thought to. Yeah, the anchor so should look like a nice idea. Two one hits, puts another checker on the mid. This three five is bad, so I guess we have to hit. Anything else seems a little uncivilized, of course. Going six to one is against my religion. We all know mm -hmm. this. What's the rule? Well, he already entered with the three, so the five is the only number that uh -huh. needs to be played left. Yeah. And he keeps on hitting it and putting it back. I feel like I'm pressing play and rewind, play and rewind <laughs> on my... Uh... Oh, I don't like that either. No, this is against my religion. Although my religion changes based on the role, to be fair. Uh, but I like that, the yes. pure play. Well, I mean, the guy could fan. Yeah, he co makes something constructive and it's not only what if it, it's... Okay, the prime has some value, but... Not that much. I mean, taking away a, a die is a huge, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, so this does nothing, and now he just runs out. And you need a three. You are not blessed with one. This comes out, of course. Six and, and what? One, he slotted uh, the deuce uh, point. Uh, I don't know why. Now we can, he wants to play purely. Okay, and I feel like the cube is incoming any moment now. Yep. I feel like the cube is incoming. You're just going to enter and make the ace point, and then you're going to get a cube, I think. Yep. I haven't counted the race yet, but I would do it anyway. Oh, he doesn't consider. I mean, all blackjack is our home. What's the problem? If the, ra the race is, of course, crucial, but it feels like 
He has a substantial lead here. What's the anyone who can count? Let me see. Maybe it's an optical illusion, it's not that much ahead. What's the race? I try to see it. I have to get into the, the zone to see it. Okay, now it counts, and the fast. Yeah, but now he just gets to pass. And the fast pass. I double before I roll double twos, so I win mm -hmm. more points after he takes. Good points. I like more points, I don't know. More is better. Although, to be fair, I'm from America. This is a very common sentiment <laughs> of people from my land, you know? <laughs> Bigger is better. More is better. But for Hans, it was good not to lose four points. See it that way. Okay. Yeah, it feels, feels like we maybe saved save the... Good chunk of the master. It's good to double before you roll your jokers. This is the yeah, uh, but what, the yeah. overall rule of the Chouettes worldwide. Yeah. Double, then roll your jokers. Three six hits. I am uh, Justin, by the way. What is your name again, sir? Svenola Norelm. From Sweden, yes? Yes. All right. You I did commentary here last year, right? I was told? Yeah, yeah. In the semi final and uh, a few other matches. Where, uh, yeah, it was. I try to remember what happened there. I don't remember. But it was, it was, quite, it was good fun. Let's see. Where are we? It's quite. Uh, even position here. Both. It's almost symmetrical. Um, maybe you can make the outside point as well. But then again, double ones, of course. I have a problem seeing the dice. So let's see. Okay, so. I have to guess the dice. What have five two or what? Five two. Seems reasonable. Slotting the four point. Misses him. Double threes. I like this play. Develops your position, builds the ten point, makes the three. Looks very strong. Double fives up next. It's a good yeah. thing he made the 10 point, or else the double fives might be leaving. I like to keep... Aha, uh -huh, okay, he can bleed. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see that. But, yeah. Two, six. From the bar. Five, two gets to hit and cover. Okay. And we hit the guy, of course. This is very strong. Yeah. Three six fans. Not the cube yet, but we're getting close. Nothing yet. 20 to 18 is for sure. And the ace, I. Oh. Maybe oh, we I can no move it. Yeah, no good alternative. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about leaving it there yeah. with the idea of making it, but I hadn't really considered it too strongly yet. I didn't like having three blots, I guess. One six. Uh, this is a lot of numbers to hit, but you are up four points in the match, and this is not one of the hitters. Yeah, this seems reasonable. Yeah, you can pull. One six makes the bar. Oh, you can cover. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I like this better. I didn't see it. I like covering, but okay. Yeah, I mean, the guy's entering from the roof, so covering makes sense. Doubles, okay, good. Double fours, fans. Double fours again, super joker. 
Well, come yes. out. We Wait, no, no, no. Come out, come out with everybody. No, we can't come out. I'm stupid. You just come out with yeah, absolutely yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. and just cross your fingers. He doesn't roll the one. What are you doing? Leave it alone. This is like your best number in the world. You just come out. I agree. What is this? Why do you want your anchor? You're being <laughs> This is illegal. You got to do that faster, that, my friend. Yeah, that was my play too. This is 14th Street Union Square. <laughs> In order to do that, you have to put both black checkers on the roof as well that are on the 20 point, and I don't think he'll let no, you do what that. What are you doing, Hans? What's the game plan? Okay, you're not too bad, but I like your idea. You just come out with everybody, and if you get away with it, you cube. Now it's maybe happy he has the, that 20 point. I don't think so. But I agree. I, I, should hope for the miss and then uh, run. Sheesh. Okay, that seems early, doesn't it? The cube comes flying. Well, there's two more blots in the outfield. I know. He does have a 20 point anchor and he is on the roof. He took, no? I love it. I love that he just puts the pressure on. He doesn't yes, care. Yes. Just gives him, the, gives him the thing. Two, one, hits. Yeah. One six. Five on. Five and four. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, all right, not a great number. We have to do this and hit on the one, I think. Yeah. But yeah. this is why I'm not sure if I would have cubed. Now any yeah. ace and the guy's right Ooh, back nice, in it. Nice. Come on, Hans. Hitting isn't necessarily a market loss, which is uh, the whole problem. And I get off of the 24 point instantly without thinking. Good. Being stuck back there is bad. Double ones. We advance this anchor and clean this up, and we have a viable game holding onto a two cube here where you don't really get gammoned all that much. Four one. Not ideal. Oh, nothing, nothing wrong. Oh, four. Oh, yeah, okay. And a five one just goes to the six point. Four two. Yeah. Okay. Five three misses, but it makes the twelve point. Yeah, and white wants to get off of the twenty three. They're going to need a six, yeah, and the nice. six five Ooh, makes the so twelve nice. point on the other side of the board. That's like one of his best rolls. Double threes. Come out with two, and then make the point in front of him like this. And now he's being primed a little bit. No, I like this play. Oh, maybe all the way to get rid of the back checkers. Those on the 12 are quite safe. Yeah, but white has to roll. And now they can just play from the 12 and jump over his head a bit. Unless he rolls a 1-3, but 1-3 is a good number. Do this yes, and slot the 5. Perfect now. I liked his play with double three. I don't. I don't know, because there's a lot of more numbers where you just get shots when he's forced to break the 12, but I mean, it worked out. Yeah. 6-4. Still some race chances, I guess. I mean, we just come off the 20, right? 20, what's the race? 115 on white I got. But I don't know, black is much less. Double fours. Okay, getting closer. What does black have? To, uh, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three. 93. So it's, it's like uh, 12 behind after the roll if I, if I had it correct. I thought he had 103. Maybe I'm wrong. You mean black? No, white. Uh huh. I got the 115 before and 99 after. But I missed two. But it's like uh, double six. 
fantastic number. Double ones, all right. I guess we just slot the one point. Yep. No shots next draw. Be clear. Five one, just all the way to the two. Four one just covers it. Now he's ready. Six one, six three, double six, double fives leaves a shot. Not six three though. Um, what is it? Oh no, six three is the shot lever. I said that out loud. Oh no. And you said it. And I did it. say it. I didn't mean for him to roll it after I said it, <laughs> but he got missed. The only number that leaves a shot now for black is six five. Double ones is a mm -hmm. switcher, and then from five to four, perfectly even structure. Nothing's going to leave a shot next roll. Six three. Five one. Looks like black is gonna pick up two points, bringing this game a bit closer. Mm -hmm. Seven away, nine away incoming. Sixes and deuces and one on the bar when Hans had a 20 point, yeah. Okay. Do you know Arman? I've never seen him before. Uh, I don't know him personally. Um, clearly he's been around for a while. The guy plays pretty good backgammon. Yeah. Someone says Arman was very close to World Championship in Monte Carlo in 2015. Uh -huh. Where he lost against um, what is this? The Turkish player Chiang. Chi I can't pronounce this. Yeah. In the finals of the winners bracket in 2015. Um, I can barely pronounce my own name to be fair. <laughs> Four three, followed by two six. Six to two might be the play here because we have an, a number uh, excess number of checkers on the eight point. I mean, thirteen to seven is generally the play. This makes the twenty. I like this. We could also make the offensive five, which was also good. But I think because he's leading in the match, maybe the defensive anchor has more value. Double threes. Yes, we just play six to three with the last yeah, one. Yeah, that's the best. Three six. Just make the bar and clean up the blot. Uh huh. That's the play too. Uh, why? It feels aggressive. Why though? I mean, you're just up in the race, right? This will get you closer to the cube. Uh, yeah. The guy just rolls a random three. Yeah, that's nice and easy. I mean, if he wanted to do this, he could have just made the two point, actually. He could have played seven to two and three to two, making the two point and not getting hit back if he wanted to do that, right? Yeah, I didn't see that. Good point. It was, I didn't see the dice. So. I have to see them when they move. Uh, one double ones. Double, okay. Here comes the advanced anchor. It's really nice. Yeah. Four six just hits and runs out. Yeah. It's looking to be missed with two one double ones three one five one five two enters on the five and just slots the four point. Mm -hmm. the five three back game doesn't get any better than this. I would say. With very little gamma losses and still some winning chances. Double fours. 
So step one, we come out with one of them. Yeah. And maybe we make it and just play. No, I don't come around no, the corner. Yeah. I mi oh, that's oh. okay. I it like makes it this way. Oh, nine okay. was playable. Also. Yeah, no, no, this is fine then. I was thinking about staying there, and maybe making the three and playing down 13-9. It was. Maybe putting a little more pressure, but this makes more solid structure. So I, I think I do like this a little bit better. 5-1, and then we just go to the one point. So Arma wants to clear the 11 point. That's the key here. The out, outside point there. Let's see if we can do that. 5, huh? 5-4. Five, Six one. Five one. All right. White's algorithm here, of course, is just to build your board and wait for the shot. I think we can just go seven to six here. I don't like going two to one. We might have to clear the seven, which could happen on the next roll. But white is ready for you. Four four. Okay. What an amazing number to clean that up. You solved the problems. Most of the problems are solved right now. It's possible he could bring this home without leaving a shot. He doubles now. Yeah. I like it. Easy pass in my book. Easy pass. Wow, yeah, There's maybe. Equity there. It's not quite easy to clear this, but I would say. And there are some gambles also. Like 15, 20, 15, I would say. It's difficult for me. I like taking, but I don't know how much you get here. I had a position that was similar to this, though better for me, mm -hmm. the other day in one of the chouettes I was playing in in London, and it ended up being a take, but this one doesn't look all that appetizing. The one thing that does look good for us, though, of course, is our board on the other side. Wow. Do you like, do you agree? I, I don't disagree. Yeah, yeah. I was worried mostly about gammons in this position. Um, and also the match score really scares me. Uh, because of the gammons and the match score leading, I don't love it because you don't get tons of shots. No, the gammons. And the guy could point on you, and that would be bad, right? Oh, he doesn't run anything. I think I would pass. Well, I also think I would now, play 6-4. Now to four. I was take in, in this stage. Now it's very awkward for black. Yeah, I think I would have played 6-4 to four just in case mm -hmm. I rolled a number yeah. that allowed me to clear uh, the 6 out yeah, of order, yeah, yeah. which he gets to do anyway. <laughs> and then he would have a spare on the 4, so your play would have been useful. Easy peasy lemon squeezy though, huh? So you do all this work and then you just roll a 3-1 at the end and leave a shot anyway, <laughs> right? And get hit. You do all the hard stuff without leaving a shot, then you roll 3-1. That's normal. That's automatic. 5-1. Always just bringing it in. Okay, I mean, this makes sense. I might have waited for one roll. Oh my gosh, I called the exact number. It's a 3-1. I am a mean, mean man. Ah, oh, but he gets missed. Okay. No. Whew. I okay. thought I, I thought I jinxed the guy, you know. You did, you did. Okay, there are some gammas here with the double. double two down. Okay, that's nice. There's a bunch of checkers stacked on the two point. I think yes. he's pretty far away. Three men off, I can see. Five men off. Okay. So it should be the gamma save. What lottery numbers am I picking tonight? Listen. Hmm. It's a good question. They have lotteries here in Denmark? I have no idea. No, they're forbidden. Are they? Only Sweden. Okay. <laughs> I I no, know. I have no idea. You could have kept that joke going on me all day long. I, have <laughs> not, I wouldn't have a clue. All right, this game is over. The game is now tied. Seven away, seven away. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Invest in a board worthy of champions. 
the Earthboard Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. Can you hear us now? Is it, uh... During the ads, they can't hear us, but okay. now they can. Sometimes you just feel it. I mean, obviously there's only so many bad numbers and I can see them instantly. And so I say them out loud and sometimes they come and nobody remembers when they don't come. So there's a bit of bias there. But if you're liking this match, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. We have almost 400 concurrent viewers right now and only 166 likes on this video. Please, let's get that like cut out there at least to 200 before this match is over. That would be fantastic. Let me find out how many we had yesterday on yesterday's stream. 166 likes, that sounds good. Doesn't to sound me. good enough to me. Okay. We need more. Thank you all who more. liked us. All right, let me go onto this page here. Hans gets the 20 point in almost every game, I think. Yesterday's stream, total. I mean, of course, people watched it overnight as well. So we had 319. It would be great if by this same time tomorrow we had more than 319 likes on this video. That would be nice. We want 324 likes. Yeah. The thing is, is uh, it feeds the backgammon to new people through the YouTube algorithm the more uh, activity there is on the on the thing here. What's the race now? See, I need to count yeah. these things yeah. because I need to know if I should be doubling. I would count. One, twenty-five, 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 tw
count is the same, but, but the differences. But even, uh, it's an improvement. He has to count at least. What are you doing? Well, you can count, Hans. I count on you. Now, same, same again. I'm just waiting for the pass. Mm. What is the race difference now? I mean, this is, should be up a bunch, no? He's got so many extra checkers it's like off. like the firework. They're waiting for the fire to burn down to He's the, waiting for the first pass. floor. <laughs> and then, okay, now I can get the ex extinguisher out. <laughs> no, it's too late. He's up uh, 11 pips now, yeah? Something like this? Uh, yeah. 10 plus 3, 13. Yes. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among. Oh, so wake up now. Missed that cue by a long shot. You could have had an opportunity there to pick up two points in that game instead of just one. Mm -hmm. Each of those uh, losses there, I mean, I know you won a point, but it's a loss of a point in my book. We could have gotten two, right? Yeah. And that inches you closer to the finish line of 17. We don't want to miss spots like that. We don't get winning games every day. So when we get them, it's in our best interest to maximize the number of points we can win in them. Nice 4-3 play, not to split or do anything against blitzing structure on the other side. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. And 6-5 to five is clear. I would play probably 6-5. to five. Yeah, I like, six, I like both, but 6-5 is the brave. This just makes the bar. Still not splitting against Black's blitzing structure. 5-1. Maybe double hit. Ah, sorry, I thought it was white. Yeah, awkward. What did he do? Slot? Did he have to do that? Didn't have to do it, but he chose to do it. I like this play. This is a fantastic roll. I missed the eight point there. Gets white right inside of the oh, doubling now, window here. Now it's time for a cube. Blocks everywhere. Can he take off the witch play? He plays fast. That's a good. I don't like the take. Okay. I think the game is over. <laughs> that was fun. He played fast. Hope he doesn't double. And he doubled fast. Hope he takes. But he fast. even faster. Um, mind games. 12 10 or. Like you say, five away, seven away. Yes, five away, seven away. So we're getting close to the finish line. And no breaks. That How's it going, oh, they, they Ian did. Squire? Yeah, no, this is their second break. How's it going, Ian Squire, in the chat? That's Oliver's dad, I believe. Jeff Hall in the chat. Nice to see you guys today. Yeah, he must have miscounted or something in yeah. the, the game prior to this last one because uh, he was up by a mile and, it, and the distance was just getting larger. Could be costly. Instead of double fast, the opponent rolls like a double five and, and you have a three-point swing or something. Yeah, you give him a chance to catch up, right? Every time I'm in a spot like that and somebody just gives me free rolls to catch up, I'm very happy. If I don't have to pay for the opportunity to uh, turn the game around, that's nice. Do you take the opportunity? To do what? To punish him for not doubling. I try. I can't control my dice though, but um, I wish for double sixes in that moment, you know? Sometimes I will it into existence and sometimes I just roll 2-1 and I never get to, you know? But I try. I definitely try. Good. When you wish too hard, it doesn't come. You have to wish. You have to not care. Yeah, that's yeah. it. You just have to play with confidence and just assume the dice aren't going to get you, you know? The dice gods like bold players. You relax and accept ev everything yeah. and just smile. That's when you... Of course. Of course. Like you say, don't care and be happy. And you still have to want to win, so that's the conflict. I mean, how do you do it? More people are afraid to lose than they are, uh, you know, trying to go out of their way to win. Sometimes they just try to not lose with some of their plays. We've seen this sometimes where they don't take the proactive 
action in the play. They make some sort of passive play, hoping they roll a better number next time. But the thing is, you never know what you're going to roll. We just have to do what we can to win with the numbers we're given. Yeah. Sometimes we're given good numbers and we're able to win more games. Sometimes we're given bad numbers. And that's when it's good to know the cube actions. It's funny, some plays, they roll a average plus roll in a bad position and they still are very unhappy. No, they want the game to be won on their very next roll. Sometimes you just build and you wait and you build and you wait. And sometimes you're given your opportunity and then you're rewarded for your understanding. And sometimes you can do everything wrong and be blessed with the best numbers in the world and destroy your opponent 17 to nothing. I don't know about you, but I prefer to roll well. <laughs> I mean, I love the mindset when I feel like I, I really don't care, but I still play like a shark. <laughs> I mean, and I'm still happy even if the opponent hit me or if I hit, I don't care. I just do what I want to, what yeah. should be done. If I get hit and then I'm like, oh no, I can't believe I was hit. You know, like there's still opportunities for you to roll good numbers on your next roll a lot of times. You could just re-enter and re-hit. And the second I start thinking that I'm not going to re-enter and re-hit is when I start to feel bad about the game of backgammon. But the dice don't care about you. They don't care about the game that happened before or the game that's going to happen next. They just do what they do. And the more, uh, the more you care about what your dice do, the less fun you're going to have playing backgammon, I promise you. Yeah, but the, what I was thinking about the mindset there, they had a, let's say, you have a very, a player has a very bad position and they improve with the average plus roll. Mm -hmm. You ha should have the mindset you're at 31% uh, or let's say 13% or whatever. And you roll a quite nice roll and get up to, let's say, 18%. It's still very bad, but you should be happy for the improvement, not think about uh, what happened, happened the problem before. is is then you start having hope that you might actually win and then when you don't win because your chances weren't great to begin with you get a little extra deflated because you had a little bit of hope no you, you <laughs> the key is accept it immediately and you're down there on 13 now I'm here okay I, I accept it 13 is very very bad 18 is very bad but better so see see that improvement from 13 to 18, or you don't know the percentage, of course, but still you see the see incremental the, improvement for sure. See the improvement and be happy with that. And then maybe you improve to 23 next round, and the, the opponent's getting shaky, and you got him. It's true. Sometimes you just have to hold on and hold on yeah. and just hold, hold the line. No. Try not to break. Try to know where you are and don't pretend you, oh, I will win, I should win this match. I was deserving to win this match. And, uh, <laughs> no, Deserve. <laughs> you, you are at 18%. You're probably going to lose. But keep fighting. Let's see what's happened. Yes, so. I approach this game from the standpoint that nobody deserves anything. I don't think just because you're a good person you deserve good numbers. And I don't think that because you're a bad person you deserve bad numbers no, either. No. All right, they're on a break here. I'll be back in a few minutes. Five away, seven away, ready to continue. I have a doubles match to play, so mm -hmm. the, the semifinals in the doubles. Uh, All right, I'll be back in a minute.
So, Arman is back. We're waiting for Hans. Uh, we've got the extras going, yes? Let's see if I can uh, follow them. It will be hard because I don't see the dice. I'll say them out loud, if some you, of them, if, if I can, them. yeah? Yeah, good. Let's try it. The barriers are very hard to follow when they play. So. All right, the players are coming back to the board. Five away, seven away. Hans Libby is in the lead. Try to get a read on the players. Okay, they are playing now. You have the up. Okay, you've got the score and everything in there, yes. just perfect. All right, four three. So he splits and two three. I think you should hit with the two and play the three down, but he double hit. And then he rolls double fours from the roof, so we enter, and then I think I would just make the four point. I would make the four point. He has a blot on the ace. Ah, uh, four three was a split. Yeah. Then he played two three and double hit. Which is wrong. And then he rolled double fours and then he meant he made the two point or something. Two point, okay. Yeah. Two point was computed in the light then. No, like the nine, it makes the nine a little bit better. Okay. Two, one, of course, he just has to split. Six, five. All right. What are we going to do here? Just make the one point, maybe. Seems like the reasonable thing to do, I think. Because if you do this, the guy could just roll a three or an ace and still have a good game. So I think I'm gonna make the one point. Yeah, I like making the one point. Yeah, this is not the position. No, I know, I messed up in the start. It's all good, double ones fans, all right. He's doing pretty good. He's got four points made, 10 checkers in the zone. Does have an advanced anchor, but black does have the five point of their own. He doubles. I take, I think I take, he passes. I'm gonna have to take a look at this. This looks, oh no, he's got, <laughs> that won't help. All right, let me just uh, toss this in here on my phone really quickly.
much pass is this? Interesting. Maybe it's a pass. Maybe I'm a little no, too optimistic it's right scary now. Scary to me. No, I think I have it. Hmm. Oh, eight in the zone. No, I mean ten in the zone. I can't count. Ten in the zone. Yeah, maybe I'm being crazy. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it looks bad. I'm not sure. It looks scary. It does look pretty scary. There are ten in the zone. You do have an advanced anchor. Hmm. Hmm. Having four points made is a big deal, so yeah, maybe it's worth just letting it go. But Probably a lot of G's here. Not too hard. You have to, I mean, how good? Did yeah. you get the evaluate? Oh, they started. Yeah, Sorry. they started the next game already. 2 1, okay. Guess I'm just going to play 6 to 5 here. I, I can't help myself. Maybe it's a massive pass. There's 10 in the zone, four points made. You have an advanced anchor in the last game. Trying to visualize it, but the th play goes so quick. Yeah, it might be a pass. Not sure. Two five hits on the outside, though. Got a score here. Four away, seven away. Double ones. Oh, I like this. We yeah, can make the nice. five. I, I don't know. I might make the more advanced anchor, though. Especially as the leader in this game. Put the five points and half the seven. He remakes the seven, probably. He does. Uh -huh. Yeah, but the, now yeah, he yeah. hits the guy on the outside. This is more important than remaking yeah. the seven. Three six makes the outside point. Two four. Two four. Wow, what's this? I guess we have to hit on the two point. Yeah. Don't see anything else. Making the boys too loose in my mind. Yeah. It's not what we want to do, but it's what we have here, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, he dances, 1-5. Yeah, there's no way we can take the other position, I don't no, think. It, it looks crazy. Once it's four away, so he should be aggressive with it, at least thinking about it. It's too, still too early, I get, agree, but get red there, Hans. Good, yeah. I mean, the more I think about the, the last game, the more I, uh, I, I think that it, it has to be a pass because of the fourth point being made and 10 checkers in the zone. Looks very scary the more I think about it, but that game is in the past. And luckily he passed. I mean, Armand is very strong. Wow, well, yeah, they say two people say it was a big pass. Like a 400, 400 pass, yep. Yeah. Sounds about right. Thank you for checking. Much appreciated. Nice to see you, David Wells. All right, he left the 3-6 and 4-5 from the roof, and he rolls it. Wow. Doesn't have to leave it. Why is the cube in the middle? Why? Because he's probably playing on. I mean, I maybe mean, not. He could win four points. But uh, I don't, point if, is good. He's not taking, though, yeah? No, no, I was just kidding him. Because I don't think he missed the cube before, but if he had the cube, he could have won four points. That's what I wanted. Okay. Oh, uh, no. Okay, that's well, he he yeah. lets him out of there. I mean, Roland, my team partner, he, he loved me. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Just follow the start, I think. Make it at least for a few moves. It's something. Yeah, as I look from the position from the, the game previous to this other one, I mean, you have nothing. The guy's up 27 pips. Oh, You're on the roof against a four-point board. There's 10 in the zone. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty bad. But I would have played on. 5-3, I think I just played two down. Yes, in the last game, I think I would have played on as well. Double six. Well, how do you play here? Um, it's difficult. I, I don't love this. I would want to see what it looks like if I just played two more down. Looks like this. 
Hmm. I don't know. I think I like maybe the two point a little bit better. Yeah, the midpoint is the midpoint, I think. Yeah, I would have done that, but I'm not sure. Don't want to get rid of my contact. We'll see what he rolls here. One six just has to come out. Yeah, quite nice shot. And maybe you can think about a cube. Mm hmm. Double six is good and bad because it's becoming like a prime versus prime now. Yeah, the question is do you attack on the one point or do you just uh, play down into the four and just play this priming structure? Yeah, I agree now when you say it. Yeah, of course. Kind of tempo. And, uh, oh, 2 1 hits back. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might have. I'm not exactly sure. I wouldn't have just kept the prime and cubed. Um, Which one do you hit? <laughs> With too many blots, I guess. If you me, I, I hit the guy on the uh, 15 point. Yeah. I don't want to play with so many blots. Uh, no, no things could go poorly, and then I could cry. We don't want to see <laughs> Justin cry, you know? It's, it's not pretty. <laughs> Carter wants. 3 6. Okay. So no, this. Oh, too many blots. Or do you stack him up? Playable to play super ugly here to avoid three blocks. Five two. Does he have to go up? Is, the is it a raceable position? I guess it is. Yeah, maybe like that from the rear. I like it. Instead of just making the 20 point. Yeah, because he wants to run anyway. Then. He right. has a spare to run with from the front. What's that? Six one oh, just jumps out. Well it's like one of the best numbers. Now it's okay. Two one. He's got himself a good game now. Yeah. Well, half decent game at least. I won't necessarily call it good. What is it doing? Is it five one? Six five. Uh huh. Okay. He has to move that six. Yeah. So he has to play thirteen seven and just six to one here. Try to get missed with these indirect shots. He gets Ten. hit. No, it's a hit. He enters and oh, okay, he wow. hits outside here with the three. That's a great shot. Yeah. Now what? Armand is thinking about it. Three six hits back. It's a semi back in it. And now he fans. He gives oh, him the cube fast. instantly, makes him think about it. Scary, isn't it? I think you should probably just let it go. Yeah. I mean, four and a half point board. It's that possible. blot on the other side is really scary, right? It is. Without that, I'm take quite fast. But yes, but he covers, and then you just don't enter, and then he comes into the outfield, and then you might be getting G'd. Yeah. Oh. You're up. Four points in the match so far, so I don't see the need to give it back to him. Imagine he rolls an eight and hits, and you roll the three. Send me. For me, it's just too expensive. I, I just don't want to swing the score. I just want to win three more points, win the match, and win the tournament. Oh, <laughs> I'm too optimistic as you. It's a almost 500 pass according to. You said you would take this one. No, yeah, I was thinking about it, but I. Oh, no, 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 not this. I at this no. Would have landed in, in your. Yeah. Decision conclusion. <laughs> Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. That pass. Point four eight nine pass according to Alex. Yeah, I don't know your na how to pronounce it, your name, but thank you, Alex. All right, five three hits on the outside. It's a good number. One five. Okay. Six five just runs all the way. Still, I want uh, Hans to. Start thinking about the cube uh, in all, even from the start of the game. He has to have the cube in, in his mind. Okay, 
there's quite even position now. Hans has escaped with one man. Two one here, and I would just play 13-11, develop the stack here. The 6-4 yeah. is duplicated to hit on the 11 point. 5-3 was blocked also. Double six, I think I just blitz. Mm, yes. I think I, I just I, blitz. Yeah, hit, hit one, they say. Prime, I'm, prime to hit one. I would make two points on my board. I would just make the ace and the deuce. Yeah, he changes his mind, he listens to you. Yeah, I like it. Aha, compromise. Okay, but I like to do small. Yeah, he might fan. Yeah, oh, look at this. He would have fanned. Yeah. Goes from four fanning numbers to nine fanning numbers, yeah? I like it when my opponents fan more. Hmm. Big swing. 5-3. Look at this. Silly oh, number. Oh, good ace he made. Stayed back there. What's happening with the five? What happened? Just picks it all up. Uh -huh. One and two, two. one. Okay. Nice. Uh, what we call police there. Got the guard back there. It makes it awkward for a man to to play in his home board. What do we have here? Five two. What? What's the play? Uh huh. He, Found this slot there. Did he find find anything else? Wow, three one. Three one. Choices here. Where's the ace if he hits? Where is it? Maybe six, not six five. I guess this one. I don't know. Six to five has merit. At least you get to keep the other. Oh, oh. no. It, you have to take a decision. Maybe. Three away, five away. He can't believe it. I love looking at the player cams yeah. here when he can't believe he fanned. I like the... Four, one makes the five. He's just playing on, apparently. Yeah. Now you have to be ready to shoot if you're on. Two, six, yeah. misses. No, it's a... Re now oh, you... Too good, I think. I still? Think. Yeah, it should make... Well, he does have the one point made. I, I don't know. How can he lose? Okay, this is true. Of course he can lose, but I mean, how can he... 4-1. Aha, uh -huh, I'm looking at the... Yeah, this is re delayed. The replay. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, live on this laptop. Yep. This is just for the chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hans, I, I vote for roll on and see what happens. It's not very much coming, but if you hit, we are getting there. Yeah, I like that. 4-2. Tries to win two points here. I like this. He yeah. only gets hit back with 3-6, three, three, which five. doesn't happen. 3-5 on the other hand. Now I expect Hans not to think about the cube. Yes, no, right. not anymore. Not good, especially good. now that there's a blot in his board. 5-3. Five, 5-3 three. Five, three makes the point. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. 6-4. Sure. Any 6 or 7 or 11 hits. 3-2, though, is a little bit lame. Mm-hmm. Why this way? I don't know. Me either. I don't... Okay, he anchors. Very, he's very happy with that. Kill Two, five, and he play. just... Okay. Wow, he just does it this way, huh? Uh-huh. Wow. I still don't oh. double, by the way. Oh, so interesting. Uh, he saw the anchor and maybe not so much gammon. But there's still plenty of gammons. You could just yeah. roll a three. The yeah. thing is, you don't lose. That's the point. Yeah. Regardless of whether or not you hit the three, you just don't lose, even if you don't roll it. Okay. You know how happy Armand must be that he got to get <laughs> yeah. out of that game for one point. You could see that on how fast he passed. Yeah. yeah. One thing I really like about Armand's game, the man has conviction. 6-4. Mm -hmm. I know this one, I think. Yeah, that's a good play. It's quite close, though. 3-1. Three, 3-3. Three, three. So, we're at our special... What is this? No, 2 away, 6 away. Never mind. Interesting. We could just make the 5. Is that what we're going to do? We entered with 1. Uh, I, like, I like the 8 two, point. 3 and just split. Okay. Yeah. And all of these seem reasonable. One will clearly be better than the other, but I am not sure. This definitely makes the 18. 
six two. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Keep them back. I like five one awkward. Just pure, I guess. Nice and pure, like this. I might even play thirteen to seven to be honest. Okay, yeah, it's similar. Just because five checkers on the eight point yeah. looks weird. Yeah. Not good. Not too bad. It's oh, fine. he was on the. Uh, I thought he was on the. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Oh yes, five. he doesn't want to leave a direct shot. I thought he was on the roof for some reason, uh -huh. but he's not. That's so right. that's actually an okay number. Yeah, the race is. I mean, think uh, Hans is just ahead, isn't he? Okay, now it should be easier to see. Okay. Just uh, thinking just about think, the hit. I think the race is quite close. Race is very important here. Okay, a house has this. On the 18, has to get rid of if he wants to race. I'm gonna hit the guy. Ah, oh, it's a hit there. With the two. Uh -huh. He just has a two left to play as he covered the two point already with the six. I'm gonna hit. I don't know what the race is, but there's a blot there. Yeah, he would have gained four picks. And made a half a point. So when, oh, okay. Well, okay. We'll wait a roll later and to <laughs> get away with this. Okay. Just tell me he's not going to escape and you're going to roll a 4 2 next time, you know? Then I'll save my breath. <laughs> 6 5. Okay. The thing is, it's funny because now he has to do stuff like this where he could have did it earlier when his board was weaker as well, mm -hmm. hitting him with the uh, 6 2. So it's almost like the game plan is a little incongruent. This is a double hit for sure. And now Armand really needs a five here just to stay in this game. Double threes. And then we make the three point for sure. Yes. For sure, we make the three point. The three point is actually better than the five point here because we want to use those checkers for that, I believe. And we want to keep the eight point. Yes, and we want to keep him stuck there. 5-2, I guess we play two down. Two down seems reasonable. Yes. Gives us the, he, he, he moves those checkers a lot. Yeah, I will, I will say that. that. Oh, that's ugly, but maybe okay. I yeah, don't know. It's nice to get up there. But. I don't know. 6-3, uh, is this correct? We could just mm. run. Uh-huh, yeah, good point. Because, it looks like you're up in the race, but now you're stuck back on the other point, yeah? Yeah. So I think the 6-3 should have just ran to the midpoint, because now you're getting squeezed. Indeed. You have to run now if you can. Well, he's hoping to do it with a double four. Okay, you can... Double three is double bad. Three. Not too bad. He cleared one of the... Four Certainly four. not a 4-3, I'll tell you that. He tried. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Double fours. May the force be with you. Yes, okay. He needs a 4-4 four, four now. 2-1. Now, should he consider? Consider, that's good. I don't know. Always consider. Don't always have to do, but give yourself time to consider for sure. I don't think he has enough of a race to double it, I'm afraid. But maybe. He's two away. Six away, so it's a critical decision. I think after this match is dinner break and then we play again afterwards. I can confirm after the match. I do not know as of right now, but that is the way it has been all week. Oh, it improves. Now it's too late, I guess. Isn't it? Still uh, nice to cash here. Okay, but. But okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure of the race, but if he's up enough. He should double. I can I never take. Uh, 9, 60, 54, 64, 66, 76, 86, 87, 88, 
286, 95, 103 to 90. He's down yeah, 13 I pips, I think. 105, I got 13 medals. Yeah, okay, this should be a... Then we should double. I think so. These positions are so bad when you mm -hmm. don't have a race and you don't have And he a scoops double. it, which means he's going to redouble here immediately. Yeah, oh, keep the Double once, he gets a shot. Yeah, but you should keep the back point, I think, because it's a better, he needs to block as much as possible. Hmm. Yeah, the, I don't mind. I, I don't like, but it's a. Well, now we can win with double six as well as with six three, yeah, possibly, and but and there's two blots in his board. Six six, he rolls it. Oh no. Yeah, I told you, Hans. I told you, Hans. I don't believe that. Don't they have a stream? Well. That's a pretty good shake. Four two. Three three. It's a great number. He gets to bring everybody in. I gave up too early. I just gave up then. Come on. Four three. Five four. Four five is the most underrated rating roll. Ah, uh, three two. He doesn't get to cross over. I mean, he doesn't get to take anybody off with this roll. Five four. So underrated and so good. He needs some sixes, Armand does, to get back into this game. Double sixes for white. Wow. And that looks like it's over. He's going to yeah. need to roll a few yeah. more dice yeah, here. It's like a game over. You see there. Oh. Four, he, three. He almost, he almost said, I'm sorry. You could see it. Very nice guy, Hans. But he's a big fighter. 5-2. All right. This game is over. Well, that was a great match. Hans Libby is the undefeated player in this match. He is now going on to, I guess, the actual finals tomorrow. And yeah. Armand can still win this tournament, I believe. He goes under the fighter's bracket. Oh, that was a heck of a match. All right. If anybody wants to update us with the XG results in the chat, I will shout them out to everybody in the oh. video for the rest of them to see. They had the last cube there. Some oh, Alex has it. You can see. Yeah. Well, the thing is, with cubes at this sort of score, if you can't redouble for the match, it basically acts as if it's almost like for money, right? And that position really wouldn't be a take for money, yeah? Mm. So I think you would just pass and start another game, even though you're allowing the guy to get to Crawford. Um, Apparently, yeah? Yeah. Well, all right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. If anybody has the XG information here, uh, please toss that in the chat. I'll let everybody know, or I can update you after the lunch break. I'm going to go find out if anybody else is coming on. If not, we will see you again at 8.30 local time, I believe. It is now 5.44 local time here in Copenhagen, which means... In about two hours and 45 minutes time, all right? Uh, but I will go check and confirm that. I'm pretty sure that's the case, but I will find out for sure, all right? Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah, by the way, like and subscribe. That needs to be done. My name is Justin Knoll. Please go to my website, backgammonuniversity.com. You can... Uh, there's a book there, ebook available for purchase. Also, Backgammon Galaxy's website, many things available for purchase there. They make fantastic books. They have boards from FM Gammon. The board they're playing on now is from Jeffrey Parker, one of the tournament sponsors. Probably one of the more beautiful boards I've ever seen. If anyone is interested in lessons, feel free to message me at justin at backgammonuniversity.com, and we are out. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and all things like this. Hello? forget to subscribe and like yes and uh yeah all the things later good thanks for having me yes of course <laughs> no yeah oh, uh, it's a uh, hard when you don't see the dice of course uh let me pause this
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to 
use the Doblin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop 
www.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earthboard options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a bat game chapter, first time ever bat game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a bat game chapter, first time ever bat game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock.
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC.
Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. 
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to 
use the Doblin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop 
www.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earthboard options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a bat game chapter, first time ever bat game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a bat game chapter, first time ever bat game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock.
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC.
Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. 
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to 
use the Doblin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop 
www.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earthboard options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. 
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now, while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon, a grandmaster's guide for beginners and intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC.
Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. 
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to 
use the Doblin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop 
www.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earthboard options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a bat game chapter, first time ever bat game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a bat game chapter, first time ever bat game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock.
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC.
Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. 
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to 
use the Doblin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop 
www.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earthboard options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. 
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now, while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon, a grandmaster's guide for beginners and intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC.
Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. 
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to 
use the Doblin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop 
www.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earthboard options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock.
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC.
Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. 
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only Super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to 
use the Doblin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop 
www.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earthboard options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock.
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC.
Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. 
What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter and uh, how to 
use the Doblin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Doppling Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop 
www.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earthboard options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to Not Suck at Backgammon, a Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock.
What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo. Available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olson, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit BackgammonWorldChampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions. The Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite. Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochi Mochizuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC.
Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main week of the Backgammon World Championship from July 29th to August 4th. Visit backgammonworldchampionship.com for more info. Invest in a board worthy of champions, the Earth Board, Apollo Edition. Get it now at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. We have new Earth Board options available. Choose your favorite, Apollo or Monte Carlo, available at shop.backgammongalaxy.com. How to not suck at backgammon. A Grandmaster's Guide for Beginners and Intermediates. Get your copy now at the Galaxy Shop. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. In front of me, I have one of the coolest Backgammon boards ever designed, the Casio Void Board. Go check it out on the Backgammon Galaxy web shop and get your board right now. The Earth Board is a Backgammon Galaxy bestseller. Place your order now while they're in stock. What's up, Backgammon fans? I'm Mark Olsen, Backgammon Grandmaster. Are you the next Grandmaster? If not, you better get your copy of Backgammon Masterclass. I'm the author alongside with two-time world champion and the only super Grandmaster in the world, Masayuki Mochimochisuki. The book takes you through the game plans, the strategy of the game, strategic visualization, a back game chapter, first time ever back game chapter, and uh, how to use the Dublin Cube in middle game situations. Get your copy now in the Backgammon Galaxy web shop. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. Register for the Backgammon World Championship 2024 in Monte Carlo. We kick off with the UBC Contender Tournament from July 25th to July 29th. Then the Monte Carlo Open, a warm-up event from July 27th to 28th. Finally, we have the main... Yeah. 
retten. Den vil vi gerne øh, have givet til at, øh, til, til, til at transportere. Så hun sidder her på en barstol, når han kører. Er det fint? Ja. Så sætter vi lige Det var bare, at du ikke siger, at kommer til at Skal vi ikke bare give Mark en føring i til at starte? Jo. <laughs> Ej, der er ikke nogen, der ligger her. So are you doing the commentary or? No, that's actually the next one. Ah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I don't know if I have to. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah. okay. It's just, just make it your own night if you don't get it. <laughs> Yeah. I was afraid that it was the. All right, we have a special treat. We have the high roller event coming up with Backgammon Galaxy's very own Mark Olson. Round of applause for Mark Olson stepping into the 2,000 euro high roller event with Mads Anderson, whom I believe is a former world champion. Mark Olson has a bunch of books on back in and out. He has, uh, what is it? Pure Strategy, Cube Like a Boss. He has, oh, what are the other ones? The newest one is How to Not Suck at Backgammon, which is available, I believe, on the Backgammon Galaxy website. You can go there and check it out. It is available for sale, direct delivery to your home in America or in Europe or anywhere else on Earth. Um, and if he doesn't win this match and he's down 2,000 euros, he's going to need more of you to buy the book to help cover the cost of him being in the event. <laughs> He will play backgammon for food, folks. He will play backgammon for food. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. This is 
All right, and if anybody out there wants to start transcribing, there is a transcriber you'll see behind us, but unfortunately we are not able to get it connected. Ah, and thank you. The undefeated final, we had a Libby playing a six. Download the Backgammon Galaxy app for iOS or Android and see how you rank among the stars. Backgammon Galaxy is the main sponsor of the UBC. And we had Patrion, uh, I can't pronounce these names, uh, playing a 5.2. Fantastic level of play from both players. This is the first round in the high roller event. Round number one. Mark Olson is on the bottom of our screen. Mads Anderson is on the top. Ah, thank you very much. I did see that. You purchased the Cube Reference Position book by Kit Woosley. Yep. Thank you very much. I did see that during our break here. Uh, it's funny because Mark was showing me a position during our lunch today, and I was like, Mark, uh, I, this is a double and a take. I know this for sure. And he's like, uh, how do you know? And I go, well, I mean, <laughs> this is one of these positions I played out from this book many years ago. And then, you know, because I had it downloaded on my phone because it's a PDF, I was able to just show him the reference positions that I referred to, and he was like, oh, wow, that's pretty useful. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is pretty useful. So if anything comes up like that in this match, Mark will be really fresh because he saw a position somebody else showed him, and then we were able to refer to a reference position. You're up in the race so much. Oh, the double hit. Really? Okay. I might have just made the nine and stepped up, but this also seems reasonable as long as they don't hit me, which they do. I think they should hit instead of make the five. I need to send that second guy back so they don't just start making points. And me having four checkers on the 24 makes me feel really bad. I've definitely read Mark's books, uh, Pure Strategy and Cube Like a Boss. I hear How to Not Suck at Backgammon is like uh, a souped up, improved version of one of the other earlier books he has on Amazon, the name I'm forgetting. I love the name though, How to Not Suck at Backgammon. 3-1. Yeah, let's just make the 5. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. Six four makes the advanced anchor. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with these outer print books. Two, yeah, that looks good. And the question of whether or not we play 24 to 21 or 13, 10 is a good question. I don't necessarily want to be in a back game, but I'm not necessarily committed to one right now, so I'd probably just play 13-10. Yes, I have the print version of both books. Actually, uh, volume two is still available in print. Not available as a PDF as of yet because it is not out of print. And the publishers, of course, are still making uh, money from the paper distribution, like paperback version, of course. 5-2 should just come out probably. I would just come out, I think. You could come down, but I would probably just come out. Oh, I have no idea what a bad rating on Backgammon and Galaxy would be. Um, you know, it's all relative to where you are and where you want to be. You know, some people are very content with their current level of play, 
some people strive to be one of the best in the world, of course, you know, and uh, anything less than best is not good enough for them. So whether or not your rating is, you know, 24, 25, 26, 100, or it's 17, 1800, you know, your destination is where you want to go. It's relative. Three, five is a great shake. This hits and plays 18 to 13, just to clean that up, I think. Someone's asking me if I'm going to write a book. I do have ideas for books. The hard part though is the writing of them. Would love to do an audio book since that's how I consume most books nowadays, to be honest. I listen to audio books every day. None of them are about backgammon though. <laughs> ah, 6-4, this is a great roll. We should make the nine point for sure. There's no doubt about that. Putting pressure on these two back checkers, making sure we're priming them and not allowing them to leave. Six four is just going to hit loose on the three point, I think. We could also play two down, which I think is worth considering. In which country is backgammon played the most? Uh, I mean, there's definitely a lot of backgammon players in the U.S., but the U.S. is a very large country. I don't know about per capita, though, right? Like uh, how large an average, you know, number of players there are of backgammon versus the entire U.S. population. That's more of a census question. I do not know. Certain regions of the states definitely play backgammon more than others, though. New York, super popular. LA, quite popular, right? Yes, and of course, there's all like Greece and Middle Eastern countries where, you know, they play tabla or they play some other version of backgammon. I'm um, speaking of the type of backgammon we're playing here with the doubling cube. Um, you know, some of these players that grew up without the doubling cube are fantastic, though. I mean, just their level of checker play ends up being really high. Yeah, I mean, if you want to study and practice with the positions, there's a program out there that we use called Extreme Gammon, and I would take the positions and put them into the program myself, and then I would play them out against the computer, and then look at my results. You can play it in tutor mode. It'll tell you where you make mistakes, and you can try to see the patterns that the computer is trying to, to do. Oh, are we coming out here? Yeah, maybe we don't have the time to play this back game. Okay. Sounds reasonable. Can't let him escape, though. 2-1 just comes all the way up. So black is going to be attacking white with any 2, any 7, any 10. So the 2 is going to hit for sure. And the 3 is coming out, apparently. Seems okay. One four is not fantastic. Extreme Gammon is not a free program, but it is not an expensive program. I think it's like, depending on where you are, of course. I mean, we all know that's relative, how much something costs and who thinks something is expensive or not. But compared to earlier backgammon programs like Snowy, which I think went for $400, um, Extreme Gammon is actually a much stronger program than Snowy was. And it comes in at $60, but you can often find a coupon for, I think, I don't know, $10 off or something. I think you can find it for around $50 online. It's the program all of the pros use to help analyze their games. Now, I don't need to make a point with these outside checkers. I don't care if they hit me because there's two blots in their home board, right? So tactically, I think it would be a mistake to make a point because of the two blots. We can diversify and give ourselves more good numbers to make the bar.
The bar point is the seven point for anyone that might not know out here. Are there competitions that don't use doubling cubes? Uh, you know, most of the modern backgammon competitions that we go to, uh, pro level players are all using the doubling cube. There was a beginner's event at the tournament in Macau recently that allowed players to play without the use of the doubling cube. And five point matches can take forever that way, by the way. Cubes can shorten the length of the match because then you use the cube and all of a sudden, you know, you can win two points or four points in a game, sometimes six points in a race to nine, which is what they're playing to here. Three, one. Can open AI play backgammon at a reasonable level? I don't think open AI is a backgammon program. I dare you to ask any artificial intelligence anything about backgammon and have them give you a sensible answer. The photograph AIs don't know what a backgammon board looks like. I definitely tried to teach chat GPT about backgammon and it has no idea. Uh, you know, you ask it the simplest questions. Okay, hello, my name is Justin Knoll. I'm a professional backgammon player from New York City. I am trying to get some information about how I should play particular roles uh, in backgammon. So starting with the opening role 3-1, I asked it one day, how do you play the opening role of 3-1, ChatGPT? And then it went into this amazingly long uh, response that had nothing to do with making the five point whatsoever. It couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out at all. It gave me five or six other answers that had nothing to do with making the five point. Um, and then I corrected ChatGPT actually. I told them what I thought the best play was, which is quite clear and it uh, air quotes thought about uh, it for a moment. It actually apologized for its previous answer. And then it went on to give me much more accurate information about backgammon. So if I can teach chat GPT something about backgammon, I can teach you something about backgammon. So feel free to message me and Justin at backgammonuniversity.com if you're in the need of lessons. Yeah, I mean, okay, staying further back I like because black is quite possibly could roll a five or a six next roll, right? In which case black will be coming to you and then you might be able to hit them in the outfield. Yeah, this looks like it's going to make the one point. Seems reasonable, I guess. Um, the other option would just be to come off the 18, which incurs quite a bit of risk. This 5-1 is just going to make the two point. All right, 5-4. Sheesh. Can't help it. Well, if you're going to do this, you're coming off with both of them. Martin, how are you uh, doing the transcription? That's fantastic. I would love to hear more information about these plays over the board. Ah, this is a little too duplication. 
This is cute. So he hits and then lifts, of course, if you're hitting, I think. You get hit back with three, four, double threes, three, two, four, two, which could be a little funny. If you're gonna roll a six, one, that's the best place to roll it. You don't wanna stay on the roof. Oh, the repeating dice syndrome. That's not good. Two, four, could make the four point, but maybe you should just hit the checker. You want to be able to get that guy. You don't want him to disappear. I think I'm being asked, what is my favorite book of all time? Well, if you're asking me about backgammon books, my favorite book is Backgammon Boot Camp by Walter Trice. Yeah, just hit the guy and keep on going. I like this play. Seems likely we'll be able to close the three point. And there's the three point closed right now. And Mads Anderson looks like uh, he could be losing a gamut in this game if he doesn't enter and start moving the freight around the board quickly. 4-2, I would just rip one off. I'm not scared. Apparently neither is Mark. If you haven't yet, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of the love. We have 230 likes on this video so far. We've almost, you know, Getting to 300 by, what did I say? We would love to beat yesterday's total. That's why we decided to show Mark Olson on the stream today. Very popular player out there. The guy who created Backgammon Galaxy, I'm sure with a few other people. Definitely its biggest promoter. Double fives. Five, four. It looks like this gammon is going to be very difficult to get off. Three, six. Six, four. Six, five. And he's resigning a gammon, I think, or the transcriber's catching up. Yeah, I wouldn't resign a gammon. Two, one, double six, could happen. Yes, thank you all for being here today. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with us and we appreciate you for that. The time settings they use uh, are traditional settings in backgammon, which means two minutes per point. So there's a nine point match. They get two minutes per point, which means they should have 18 minutes to start with. And the classic delay time would be 12 seconds. So you get 12 seconds to move and roll and such. Just sorting out the transcriber right now. No problem, Penny Lane. Thank you for showing up here, watching our streams. I see your name in the chat very often.
Thank you very much, Carlos. I appreciate it. I'm glad everyone out there is enjoying themselves. I'm enjoying myself too. Love doing a bit of commentary. I'm happy I was able to play earlier this week in the uh, UBC event here. Played much better this go around than the last time I uh, did the UBC. Maybe I just got used to the online portion like they played in uh, Turkey last year. Seemed like I was on my A game for most of it. Finished second there, but still had the overall lowest PR average of anyone in the event, which I'm quite happy to say, because I keep on repeating it, of course. Yes, it has happened before that players have run out of time in tournaments. Definitely it has happened before. Kevin Hussein, uh, greetings from Azerbaijan, he says. How, how are you? Very nice to have someone tuning in from Azerbaijan. Isn't this where, is this where Gary Kasparov is from? Former multiple time world champion. Some might say the greatest chess player in the history of chess. Yes, I had some tough decisions. Uh, you know, I look back on them, and I should have I should have made the best play. Just, I don't know. Don't want to make excuses for it. Stuff happens. It's backgammon. Anytime I make mistakes in a match, it just gives me an opportunity to learn something new that I might have misunderstood or forgotten or just didn't have at the tip of my tongue. And every time you have the opportunity to kind of reinforce an idea in your mind in backgammon it's always good you know it might take a few times before you remember the pattern but you know it gets easier over time for sure the more positions you see critically you take them apart you study them you save similar positions and you start to assess and reassess and go back and forth and then your you know depth of understanding improves year by year if there was only a third match you know <laughs> who knows playing a 2.68 during the preliminary rounds over the first seven matches. Those matches are going to be on my YouTube channel, though. So when I get back to London, I'm going to start adding commentary and the XG feed over those for me to upload to my own personal YouTube channel, which is Justin Knoll Plays BG. If you haven't been there before, go check it out. There's videos of me teaching backgammon, me playing backgammon in tournaments around the world, me playing my wife, actually, and doing commentary on her moves, which are at a different level than mine, but she still played quite well. You know, it's one thing to do commentary on masters playing like today um, versus people with less experience. They make different types of mistakes, more normal mistakes, I would say, that a lot of uh, viewers might make that find it uh, helpful for me to break down what's going on in those types of positions. The three, six enters and hits. It's a great shake. That's true, Jack Blake. I do live in London now. The wife is British. We have a house there. Got a kid on the way. How are you, Max, from Northern California? number is this five five or five four must be a five four do we need to hit here four guys back I don't know looks like we're trying to blitz we might get away with it we might not they anchor I hope oh they have this double hit option as well yeah this seems reasonable actually Double fives. 
That should help to control the outfield some. He could also point on the guy if he wanted to, which I might have a hard time not doing. Let's see here. Ah, okay, he entered with both. So yeah, I think I prefer coming out and holding the outside point over pointing on the three point here. Feel like it adds a lot of control. There aren't many checkers in the zone to kind of help this blitz actually work, you know? I've only got seven checkers in the zone and five checkers back. Uh, I don't like uh, their chances here. So maybe we just go for a bit of control. Have another outside point, cause a few problems this way. I don't know, I kind of like it. Having five checkers on the 20 point just seems a bit weird to me. But of course, it could be totally right to just make the point. If anybody knows in the chat, let me know. I would come out. XG prefers the three point by how much? They both look pretty good. The five checkers on the... 20 points seem bad to me. Mark finds the best play. 5-1. Enters on the 20 and just picks up the outside guy here. Three two. Six two makes the 18 point. That's a great number. I believe. I mean, I don't think when white has blitzing structure, you want to allow them to blitz you. So coming out to the 18 seems quite reasonable. It was a 48 millipoint error according to XG. Double fives, okay. One. I think we come down with two of them. Ah, uh, why this? Why not make an outside point? I would just come down, I think. And we can either come out with this three or we could come down with the five. I think. I'd like to have a point in the bottom left-hand quadrant. Seems like that adds quite a bit of value. I'm not overall worried about getting hit and I feel like now that I have to move, I wish I had maybe a few more spare checkers to play with. So here we're just going to make the point, I think. We could cover. Covering seems reasonable as well. Yeah, okay. That looks pretty good. 3-4. Well, now that Mark has this strong board, you're going to feel some sort of way about just hitting and covering. Getting hit back seems quite costly. But maybe you get missed. What hits? Two, six, three, five, two, three, 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 five, three, of course, double fives. That's not zero numbers, but I don't know if you can just go to the seven point. That just seems a little funny as well. But if he enters, you're going to have a lot of cleaning up to do, and the cost of getting hit is pretty high. Two. 
just slot the four point. Three one. Guess we just go to the two point like this. Uh, anything else leaves a shot, and White's board is getting a bit too strong. Here we can just come out now that there's two blots in Black's board. White isn't afraid of them being hit. Five four. Guess thirteen to four. Makes sense. Trying to not leave a shot, trying to get home without getting hit. No, I don't make the one. I think I just come to the eight point, hope to make the four. Hitting me with an ace seems pretty costly. Unless, of course, it's double ones. Double threes comes down and then off of the 18. Just moving forward, I think. You're probably up in the race. Looks like you are, just eyeballing it. Double twos, another great roll for black. Yeah, it seems reasonable for us to just try to get around the board, I think, if they're up in the race. So I would just put the checkers on the 11 point and then count. Okay, so white is down 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 pips. So black should just come around for sure. There's no doubt about it. Uh, but how are you getting home? I think if you just come around the corner, you can cube, yeah? If you're up enough. Five, four. Yes, thank you. Not coming all the way around with the double twos is a 111 blunder, so 111 milli points. Uh, because you might get stuck out there. Six one just makes the ace point, getting ready for the shot that might happen. Rolling medium numbers would not be good, like five one is bad, it doesn't connect. 5-1 makes the four point. Now white is really ready for contact. 5-3 is the worst number in the deck. Can't even believe it. He has to clear the six point, of course. You can't leave a shot here. I don't think black should double this at all. Uh, the other side has an amazing board, and your position is just getting weaker minute by minute. And you might just be coming into a direct shot sometime soon. This 5-3 is not ideal. I don't know if we should do this. 
We let him off the hook with twos. Uh, God, is it a thing to even break our board here and just have him come to us? I mean, I know I want to split. Okay, he just comes around. Please let me know what is happening here with this play. I think we let him off the hook with some small numbers, but not this number. Fifteen eleven is a one eleven error. Coming all the way around is the error. Wow. Interesting. I'm reading these comments wrong. Four one. This is shot time, and maybe Mark can cue? But no, he's up too much in the race. He's up too much in the score, I think, to, to swing a four cube. Or to swing an initial cube on the guy here. Seems like something if you miss, you might get back pretty soon. Something I would do for money. Don't think I would do it at the score, though. Don't want my opponent to give me a four cube back. For money, I would do it. Maybe you can do it here. Up four points, though. Maybe. I mean, how does he get around? Your board is amazing. Maybe you can give this cube. How many numbers hit? So we have fives, which is two, three, four, one, plus 11 other direct numbers. That's 15 numbers. Plus we have tens, which is six, four, and double fives. So 18 numbers hit, which is like half of our numbers. And some of those lead to gammons, and it's not like black gets to just recube if you miss either. I think the problem is sometimes you roll a six and you don't, but your race is okay as well. I mean, this is a massive cube for money. The only reason why I'm considering not doubling is because we're up four points already. But if I don't think that black can just give us a recube immediately if missed, then maybe we can double this. Mark twists the cube. Professional level backgammon play right here. And I mean, you have to take this. He could just miss you, and then that four cube leverage is really, really strong. Double ones misses. So Mark has to stay as far back as possible, I think. He should just go to the one point. Can he recube here? Ha! Huh. Maybe he can. This is what I was afraid of when it came to the cube that I would miss. The problem with thinking so long about the cube is the dice gods sometimes don't reward you when you think too much. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's not real. Maybe he should twist it. What's the race? Anybody know the race out there? I know we have a lot of wastage. So, I mean, white, I mean, black must be up in the race, uh, just physically speaking, even though there is wastage. There's a lot of pick and pass numbers that might cause him to miss his market. Maybe not, though. Hmm. Well, this is fun. I think... <coughs> I, I think I'm going to recube. I've decided. I'm going to recube. I just think I'm up enough in the race... I'm going to either pick and pass or I'm going to run over his head and then he might just be coming to me and I might hit him on the next roll. And if I don't pick and pass and I just get over his head and he doesn't come to me, any time that I go to him and he misses, I've lost my market as well. So it's 54 to 66. We have some wastage. We could add like two pips for every extra checker over two on the ace point. So like 58, 59, we could add 60s. Ah. 
I'm gonna say cube. Let's double it. Throw it out there. Put the pressure on Mark. There we go. This is why this man's won a world championship, folks. He's putting the pressure on Mark. Now, he must have decided before he cubed that he could take if he was missed. They, he thought of that sequence already. Five, six. This has to hit, by the way. This has to hit. It's the fewest number of shots you hitting, I think. You just get 11 plus a few indirects. This could be a very short match, folks. We might have another match after this on stream. And he hits just like a professional. If Mark doesn't roll a five, he's gonna be in some serious trouble. Or a six, three. Yeah, the five is right in the window. Whoa. Why would you redouble? I don't think you can. I think you just play on for a G here. Try to get the extra point. Here's your 2-5. And maybe you just win the entire match outright right here. Three one. Uh, I mean, this is the safest play. Your gammons don't really... Is this the safest play? How do you play 6-5 afterwards? The problem is 6-5 here as well. 6-4. Those all leaf shots. 6-1 on the other hand is perfectly safe. 4-2 is just going to clear from the rear. You're just gonna clear from the rear. I, I don't see any point risking any losses here when the four points is going to get you to Crawford. I don't like leaving gaps. This just leaves a shot with sixes, fives, and fours. The other one's going to leave a shot, I think, with just six, two, but long-term, I don't like the gap. If you like Mark Olson's shirt, you can bid for it, I believe. We'll put it up on the Galaxy page for you if you'd like. If you want to learn how to not suck at backgammon, of course, <laughs> Mark's book is available for sale on the Backgammon Galaxy web store. Mark's going for that G. He sees that Black's board is broken and doesn't think that he has uh, many chances to lose this match as long as Black enters. So he's taking a few chances to win this G. The 6-2 enters and just comes out. And now Mark needs a big double to put the sweat in. 6-1, he's odd, so it's going to take him four rolls if he doesn't roll a double to get off. Mads has two crossovers here. 6-1, takes two checkers off. Oh no, that's a bit small. This is uh, smelling a little bit more gammonish. If Mark gets a double here, it's almost a nail in the coffin. Two one, okay. Double fours, six four, okay. This essentially assures he gets off the gamut if Mark doesn't roll double twos or better. Double sixes for the match. Wow, that was a quick one. Wow, all right. I could have uh, thought of better things to do with two grand than <laughs> play three games with Mark. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go in the other room and check the XG file. I'm going to see if we're going to get another match on here since this was a quick one. All right, I will um, be back in a moment. Your choice. 
But what about well. the first shoe or two? I think that was it though. It's five three. That just looks like a fake, but like I think the yeah, that was just a very tough short match. Tough tough play. It's hard to work down your your error rate. Like you only only yeah. have like two or three games, you know. Because it wasn't ideal to stay back to medium. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was nice. Yeah, yeah. But maybe you were trying to squeeze me a little bit, give me some bad tickets. They have, they have features, so it's like another 9 point match. So. Yeah. But there's still 11 in your rank, so it's sure. really interesting. The less points you get, the better. So this one has to be identical to this one, right? That's what you meant. Well, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me. So it's like this, this is only style. No, so this style has to be that style. Okay. Elias has 11 minutes on the clock, and Aria has 18, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a little bit. Like it's a little, just a little bit different. All right, if we can get this to 300 likes, we're going to toss Oliver Squire on the stream. Oliver Squire, he is in the fighter's bracket of the main. If we can get to 300 likes, we'll get Oliver Squire's match on the stream. If we don't get to 300 likes, we'll probably still put Oliver Squire's match on the stream, but uh, <laughs> we would like it if we could get there before the night ends. They're in an 11 point match. We pulled them out of the other room. They've scored two points each. And it's essentially a nine point match, just like the last one, except now we're watching it together. So this is for what? The second chance semi final. Okay. Okay. So the only thing that you can use it for is in the other chat. I hold the direction. Okay. And uh, so now. Uh, Yes, of course, Mark, uh, if he doesn't roll a five, um, it's a different story, yes? All right, so we've got Oliver Squire and Elias Kritikos, I, I'm not sure, uh, from Norway on the stream. No, you can just start a nine-point match right now, transcribing if you'd like. That would be fantastic. We're all good here. Thank you very much. So if you wanted to start the transcription just from a nine-point match, which is what this is, I would love that, by the way. Well, it was either we don't show Mark's match or we just end the stream right now and we don't put this on at all. I don't know what anyone would prefer. I wouldn't mind going into the playing room and gambling a little bit right now. So let me know. We can end it here. I will say though that I, I did fight for this match a bit because it has um, big implications when it comes to the finals of this tournament coming up. Big implications actually. I think the winner of this match goes to, I don't know if there's another match actually after this that they have to win in order to get to the finals. But this match is really important to see who's going to be playing in the finals of this tournament. Six, three. All right, here we are. The cube has been given, but Oliver has anchored. I like his first play, uh, which is slotting the four and the three. I think it just leaves better distribution. It doesn't leave a shot with six one either. I know he likes slotting the five point. I like slotting the five point. It just looks a bit awkward to me, so I prefer slotting the four and the three. That kind of rhymed, didn't it? Sounded a little bit Dr. Seuss-ish. Dr. Seuss-ish. <laughs> I can't even say it. It's all right. Yes, the finals are tomorrow, Penny Lane. Thank you all. We will keep this going.
Oliver agrees because Oliver is a very good backgammon player, of course. 6-4. All right, I think we can just make the four point. That's possible, right? Okay, well, he starts with this. I, I like making it. Um, you know, having a stronger board ends up being a bit threatening uh, to the other side. Having a blot in your board means they can be a bit more aggressive with me, which I don't like. All right, so I know the deuce covers the four point for sure. And I think the computer's probably going to like slotting the five. And even though I know the computer is probably going to prefer slotting the five, I would do this and cover the three point. That's all I'm saying. Double fives. What a shot from the young squire. Of course, he has to get uh, an assessment of where he is in the race before he decides what he's going to do with this role. So let me give it a count. Six. Fifteen is ninety, one hundred and four. 110. Wow. 14. Twenty two. Hmm. I think Oliver's down in the race. But it just feels awkward to bring everybody uh, off of the 13 or something or start burying all the checkers to the three point. So he sees this, yeah. He knows he's down in the race, so he, he wants to try to make some other play that stays back, but everything else looks awkward. And now he's down in the race even more because his opponent also rolled double five. So unless Oliver responds with double six or something, this game looks like it's over. Oh, he's already doubled. My bad. Five, two. Six three. Six three again. Double fours, okay, not to be outdone. Trying to find a way to fight his way back into this game. If he rolls another one of those, it'll be very helpful. 3-2. Let's bring the other one in as well. One and then five. He's going to need another big double in order to make this anywhere close. 4-2 is not big enough. Three, four. First the four, then the three. Commanding lead for black here. Six, three, okay. It looked like the thing, but it wasn't it. He's going to need to roll it in order to have a chance here. Double twos. Six, two. Just go six to four, just so we get more checkers off if we roll double fours. 
four, one. Yeah, Oliver's going to need some help here. That's not going to be good enough. This game is essentially over. Small chance, but virtually none. All right, the game is over. Elias takes a two-point lead in this match in a race to 11. Four one. I just do the normal thing and split here. I guess four one is technically the worst opening roll in all of backgammon. I've been told. I didn't believe it. I checked it on XG, and come to find out, I think it's true. Here we're just going to blitz, and I make the three point. I think it's correct. There's nine fanning numbers. We've got extra material in the zone, which should add to the blitz, provided if we're not hit, of course. Of course, we do get hit back a few more times, but I don't think white should be the nervous one here. I think it should be black, since they're the one on the roof. This is good for the race. There's no doubt about it but it's worse for the blitz, which I think is what we're doing. I would just blitz. Erkan Koban from Istanbul. How are you? It's gotta be late there now, no? David Wells in the chat. How are you? Where in the world are you today? I am in Copenhagen. Double threes. This is another good reason why we should make the point. And now we give the cube. This is a clear cube. And... Ooh, so for money I take... So only nine checkers in the zone, and I'm sitting on the two point. If there was only eight checkers in the zone and I was on the two point, this wouldn't even be a cube. So the ninth guy, who isn't even really aiming at me, I, I think I take. For money, I take for sure. At the score, I mean, I'm not, like, terrified. Although I am a little nervous, but that's just my demeanor. He passes. I gotta see this one. So it is a double and a take for money. At the score, maybe it is a pass then since he's leading. Very small pass, 2%. Very nice play by Elias. Very nice pass. He adjusted well for his score. I think I might have gotten frisky and taken that one, but you never know what I might do over the board. 6-5 is a nice number. This makes the outside 18 point. Two one. 
And you could almost play 13, 11, 6 to 5 here. I'm not sure we need to split since we're not up in the race. I think 13, 11, 6 to 5 seems quite reasonable. That was a nice cube adjustment there for the score by Elias. Nice job. Anyone know the uh, result of that one? 13, 11, 6, 5 would have been my play. Maybe splitting in 6 to 5 also has merit, but I wouldn't have done a big split. I think my ace for sure goes into the hole trying to make the 5 point. I think that adds a lot of value. So 13, 11, 6, 5 would be my play for money. Um, maybe at the score leading by a point, the split has a little more value than it would in an, uh, in an even game. But I definitely toss the ace into the hole on the four point. Simon says he would have played to the 21. Uh, anyone want to play Simon Says? Double fives. Well, I think we know how we play this one. Just coming around, and if he doesn't anchor, Probably eating a cube. He doesn't anchor. Gave the cube, and he is unable to do anything productive here. So he just plays eight to five. Double ones, okay, that really strengthens the board. But it does not anchor, which is what he really wanted to do in this position. Now double fours, four one, four two, two one, double ones all makes the four point. Six one makes the bar, which is okay. But it still gives black the opportunity to roll that three. The three comes. I can hear Elias exhale. <sighs> Thank goodness. Got a little bit nervous there for a moment. Five, four, five down. I guess my four is going to go to the one point, I think. I like having the spare checker on the six. I, even though I don't like going to the one, I think it looks funny otherwise. Oliver agrees. All right, 6-3. This is just going to slot the two point. Six two. I think I'm just gonna play two down here. I give sevens, which is five two, and but this is like a great roll to clear the mid, you know. This is a great roll to clear the mid. If I do this, I mean he does have a blot in his board. I'd probably just play two down. He would have hit me, so okay, I get it. Four one. I 
think we should just break the seven point and make the uh, three. Martin House says clearing the 13 was best by 71 milli points. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't look like it's going to be easy to clear. White could leave a shot before black. 5-2, now you have to do it, right? It's like a joker, but now you get hit with more numbers. You get hit with 3-4 in addition to 5-2 and 6-1. But he rolled it last time and might not roll it this time, so that's good. I mean, there's no way he rolls it twice, right? That could never happen. Yeah, I think you just have to give it, my friend. Would have been better before, because there would have been fewer numbers and a blot on the two point. But he did roll a seven, so you dodged one. Three, not a four, obviously, or else he would have played it quickly. So three, two. Now you just got to bring that checker in, which you do with a five, four. Just covers the deuce point. 4-1. Clear the 13 is best in this spot by 115, yes. Pay now, pay later situations are definitely a specialty uh, that I, I don't know, maybe I just have an eye for them. I've definitely studied them quite a bit because I used to make mistakes with them and so you know, it's one of these things when you go through the process of creating a blunder database in your computer and you go through every one of your matches and you pick apart the decisions, you'll notice that one bucket gets filled faster than the rest, right? And then you know that's the hole that's sinking the ship and you have to go, uh, you have to go fixing that hole first, right? So you'll have one folder in your, your, your uh, database that just fills up, fills up, fills up. You're like, oh my God, there's like six positions in one and like 60 in the other. Maybe I should take some time and study this particular spot here so I can figure out what's going on so I can stop making mistakes here. I spent some time doing that. Six two. All right, I mean white is in the lead. Six two again. Probably just play three to one. Just so I can give myself a good ace to play. Um, black rolls double threes, that's a good large number. Helps him catch up in the race. He's got nine checkers left. Oliver has nine checkers left as well and rolls another 3-1. You don't want to continue doing that. 4-1. 6-5, it's a great shot for Oliver. Double sixes, that's even better. Elias takes the lead. 3-2. I smell a recube coming on. Definitely got to give him the thing back here. You're a massive favorite. I don't think even think he can take it, so. I mean, there's nothing you can do to take this, so you just take it off. And you got to do it faster so the guy maybe doesn't think about recubing you, but of course he's going to do it because Elias plays good backgammon. We know this. I know his name from playing online. Oliver has to pass. He was trying to find some play that was going to allow him to take, but he realized nothing was going to allow him to take. Let's 
That's all you need sometimes, folks. Double six. All right, since moving to this table, Elias has taken a lead. We have a five away, eight away situation, I believe. If I'm doing the math correctly. Five, two, the deuce splits. The five, I believe, is supposed to smack him on the one point here. I think that's generally the idea. Two, one, this makes the 11 point, and I guess we just step up here. Four, one, I know the ace does this. Should the four double hit on the deuce? I Maybe, but I don't love it. Double fours. I guess we make the seven point. Seems like structurally the best point we can make with the rest of this number. Two, one. I guess I just make the five. I think I just make the five, right? We could make the 23 and the seven, but I don't want to be stuck on the 23 point, to be honest. So I think I would just make the five. Anybody in the chat have this? I would uh, love to see this. This six five needs to run out of there. There's no doubt about that. That six five needs to run out of there. The question is, do we run out with one or do we double falcon our way out of there? Probably would just run out with one all the way around the corner because that would add an extra builder to making the four or five point. Simon says he would make the five point. I can't say Simon says anymore. You're going to either have to change your name uh, or I can't refer to you anymore in the chat, my man. <laughs> or maybe I should just change the word says. Simon alludes to him wanting to make the five over making something else. And this five, four. What is this? I just come out, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to try to get missed. I'm just going to come out, cross my fingers that he misses me. Six three does miss. I don't know the race. It's interesting because the 22-point anchor is one of these things we don't really love to stay on. 4-2 just makes the four-point, I think. I mean, of course, this is also good. I mean, this is probably right, but I'm just so greedy. I would love to make the four-point, but maybe I can make it next roll because he could hit and just cover, right? That's a possibility, but I'm always looking for a little bit more. And here we just make the five now, which of course is better than the four. We just hope to be missed with six, one, three, one. Okay. He gets to prepare his board three down six to five. It looks like a good play. Is white up in this race. Ninety six, one oh six, ten, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one for white. Twenty six, he's up five pips. Is this it? It's eight pips, okay. 
So I'm going to scoop this, and I don't even know if I would have doubled, to be honest. I don't even think I would have doubled. So I take because I don't think I would have cubed. Is this a double? Eight pips. So we play 13, 10, and then six to five, yeah? I guess we don't necessarily need to make the 10 point, but our sixes play better if we do, because then six, one, six, two, six, four, makes the four point, which would be very nice. Here, our sixes don't do much to help improve our position, and our little numbers do good stuff anyway. The only thing we're missing is a three, but I think I like the idea of making our sixes good. Although, if we do roll some of those numbers, six one will always hit us, but I do prefer this. Double threes. All right, two, three. Uh, is he ever going to give a shot? Probably not, I guess. We can do this. Seems reasonable. I don't like giving shots. Really would like to fill in the four point, though, if I were, if I were uh, Oliver. I almost said Simon. Six five's a great shot. That plays two checkers down, totally safe. No fly shots, nothing. Still would like to fill in the four point though, but that's good for the race. Five three, all right, he's ready. He needs middle and small numbers now. Four six is not that. So the six goes to the deuce point. Where does the four go? Four go. We could just make it. Hmm. Doesn't look terrible. Double threes is going to make the one point. There are some awkward numbers here for white. Two one is not one of them. We can redistribute the checkers on the six point, which gives us great spare distribution once again. Uh, they would like to roll double sixes, of course, but now they have to break their board. Six one, no, you need small and middle numbers. Finally, he gets to fill it in. Two one, he's been trying for ages. Two three. Six one, should just go to the one point, try to hold this as long as we can. Six four, all right, he comes out. It's going to need to attack him on the three point, I think, if he rolls a good enough number to do so. Double ones is annoying. Hmm. Yikes. So 
I think we have to hit. I don't know about the shift though. Ah, uh, this is interesting. You know, I, I almost want to hit and like just go to the two point and leave the blot on the one point and just hold the five prime. My problem with breaking the five prime is that it's now easier for him to jump over it. You know, if I like, if I go six to three and hit and maybe go to the deuce, if he rolls an ace, I don't care so much because then he needs to roll a two and then a six which might not happen. I kind of like this. It only sucks if he rolls a three. <laughs> and then I don't know what I'm going to do from there. But I'm glad he's looking at this because this is the play I was looking at for a moment. I hate giving up the five prime because they're so difficult to jump over. Four to three twice, seven to five. Ah, lifting this, I don't like this. I do not like this play. I know it doesn't leave any shots, but if he rolled a four, you would be in some... What is this? This leaves an indirect. You have to go to an ace again and then play from eight to six to not leave... Uh, not necessarily eight to six. Eight to six is fewer shots. It's only two, six, and four, four. You could do the other one, but this is one more number. It's two, five, and four, three, but better distribution. Two, five, he rolls it. Six, four, though. Did you think Oliver was going to fan? No way, Jose. What's he thinking about here? He's up in the match. Giving Oliver access to an eight cube would be game ending for Elias if this doesn't work out. I think redoubling this would be a blunder on the magnitude of something I don't know. Six five is just a great shake. Pick and pass. Be happy you rolled it. Do not give this man access to a four cube yet. All right, now this is something you could maybe think about. How many games do you win here? Yeah, now it's like a massive pass probably, right? Yeah, this is a better sequence, I think, for Elias than just giving a four cube there because then you could roll... 2 1, and then you're all of a sudden you're eating an 8 cube in your face, leaving tons of shots, right? So, I think that was a much better choice. No harm in looking at it though, as long as you don't talk yourself into doing it. All right, so now it's 3 away, 8 away. Oliver should probably take a break. I would. Try to break up the momentum if that's a real thing. Four one, the best play is to play two down after hitting. 
you hit and then bring the four down generally when you hit using the spare checker on the eight point. You bring the other checker down generally. Now a four six to clean everything up. What a great shake. You could have hit, but I think this is better, especially at the score. Double ones. This uh, plays itself. Terrible number. Not nearly as good as double twos, obviously. Six four, and I would go to the deuce point. Only for distribution. I'd like to have some spares and other places to play with. So even though the four point is a better point, I would still go to the deuce just to keep some spares outside and give myself some more flexible options later on. What does the chat think? Smash the like button if you haven't already, guys. Thank you all for tuning in with us today. We have 275 likes on the video. That is absolutely fantastic, but there are 368 people in here, so it wouldn't take too much effort to break 300 right now if you could do that for me. I'm sure the team at Backgammon Galaxy would really appreciate it. Uh, also, if my numbers are high during the stream, maybe they ask me back in the future. Uh, if that's something you want, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Now he had to break his eight point to make the four because of that play. He could have slotted the three and then made the deuce and still had the eight point. The eight point is good. Double fives is better though, that is for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, I can see what he's thinking. He wants to not get stuck here. This is five away contact, which might be difficult to clear. The other one is going to be much easier to clear later on, but then the checkers on the 15 point might be difficult to bring home. Six one. What is the race? Because if we're up enough, I'm going to give the guy the cube because I don't know how he can hit me. Oliver must know the race. He's been working on his running count because... Well, of course, she, that's like the next level. Being able to do that and know the race at all times is a huge advantage. One oh seven for white. How many checkers does he have on the six point? I can't even tell. He's down twenty pips. Well, yeah, seems like a reasonable pass then. Can't even contain the guy if you get the shot and hit him, so I like the pass. Couldn't tell him any checkers he had on the six point. Definitely an awkward looking position. If he's down 20 pips, I'm definitely passing. Elias must know because he passed. 2 1, and the best play here for money is just to split, I think. Although I've been told there's a super secret special deeper rollout that uh, might like doing something different, but I don't hit on the deuce here ever, by the way. I don't think this has a lot of value. I mean, it might 
change if you're looking for a gamma, not the score. But I think I just split with the three and play the four down. I I don't think hitting on the deuce is a thing here. Does anybody does anybody know? If that's right, I've learned something new today because uh, I don't do that. Not in this spot, at least. Five, six hits. That's a fantastic number. Five, three. So here's the five and the three. I guess I just play down. He has to clean up the blot, so my checker when I play down to the 10 is actually quite safe. No, you are not allowed to use pen and paper to write uh, the, the, the pip count down during the match. This was actually one of the first questions I asked when I was uh, taking backgammon lessons back in the day with John O'Hagan. I was like, can I just write the race down in these matches? Like, keeping it in my head is kind of annoying. Um, and he was like, and he just emphatically was like, no. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Leave me alone. I was just asking. So what do we do with the 6-5 here? Part of me is looking to slot the 4 and play the 5 down and just give him the deuce and the 9 to hit me since I'm going to be leaving a shot anyway. Replenishing the spare checker on the 8 points, slotting the next best point in line. Seems like a pretty good thing to do. This seems a bit finicky to me. Seems like it leaves a bunch of shots without trying to, I mean, okay, it, it escapes a back checker, so there's an upside there. But you're likely going to be sent right back. So I would try to do something that's more permanently constructive. So I'm committed. I'm going to slot the four and play 13 to eight. Final answer. Anybody else have an answer in the chat? Feel free. And if you have an XG result, Feel free to post the actual answer as well. I still am looking for an answer to the last play I talked about. Curious about that one as well. I'm a big fan of just starting to make structure. Letting my board be my offense. 2-1. Hits, of course. 5-2. You enter with the 5 and now have to lift the deuce. Thank you, David. Very nice to hear. Hopefully they're right. <laughs> you never know. Although I think they looked pretty good. Ah, uh, they liked 14, 9, 10 to 4 a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, that's totally reasonable play as well. I think it was better by 3%, the chat says. Two and the three hits. Five, one. I don't think I'm splitting because I don't have an ace to play, so I'm just going to do this and come down. Oliver has four minutes left on his clock, but uh, Elias has 452. So, I mean, this should be doing fine on time, I think. Four one. The problem is this silly ace. I 
think this is too static. I might have slotted the four and played eight to seven, to be honest. You know, he's got a stack of checkers. He's got blots in the outfield. I think eight to four, eight to seven would be my play. Just something a bit more dynamic to try to build something instead of just stack something. I don't think playing safe is always the way to go when you're trying to develop a backgammon position because then you have these stacks that now are doing things like this. Five, two. Huh. I mean, isn't the board calling for us to play six to four, you know? And I don't want to let the guy back into the game since we're doing good, but man, isn't this calling for six to four somehow? Is there any way to duplicate any numbers? If not, we're just playing, I guess, two down. But doesn't six to four look pretty? I mean, provided white doesn't get to roll, but I mean, just look at it for a second. If we can get away with this, we are doing good. I mean, just look at where the checkers are being asked to be placed, you know? I just was going on a rant a second ago about not wanting to stack my checkers. I mean, and then look, just a play later, we're in a very similar spot, and Elias pulls the trigger. What a pro. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, until he rolls the three. And then I cry a little bit, but you know, what are you gonna do? You just need to enter here, that's for sure. Five, four, hits back, fantastic shot. Two, five, fans, Elias takes the lead. Two, one, covers, and now we inch a little bit closer with this ace, I think. Just a little bit, maybe, we could. I don't see the downside. Something funny about playing six to five for me here. I don't know, maybe it's right. Yes, this is the reason why I hate this play because they roll five, three. If I knew that, I would have stayed back, of course. Four, three. This enters and just comes out. <laughs> Simon, <laughs> hilarious comment. Four, and your deuce, I think we're gonna have to just step up. This gives us a few more numbers to reach the midpoint, which we would like, of course. Although this three gets us hit, but you know, it is what it is. At least he had to put that checker on the two point, which he can't be loving. Although we do need to enter. Where's the one? I has to come out with this one then. Okay, there's a few good entering numbers for Oliver. Three, two, that's one of them. Enters and hits. Oh, we don't have to hit, do we? Is it worth hitting? Let me think about this for a second. How many numbers hit us back? We're up in the race, right, by a bunch. And we could hit back with fours and sixes. So one, six, four, six, five, six is six numbers right away plus one, four, five, four, double fours, which is another five numbers. That's 11 numbers that hit us back. Yikes, that's a lot when we're out boarded by a bunch and only have one checker back. It's not like we get to like close out black either. They've got a 20 point anchor, so maybe I don't hit because no one's really attacking me right now, so. Ah. That seemed a bit risky. Can't say I'm adverse to risk, but I don't know. I might have just waited. Love to get an update on that. I mean, he hit for sure, so I mean, he's a favorite to be right. He's a very good player. David Wells thinks it's a hit. Hit followed by a fan is a cash, he says. Okay, so that makes a, a big difference. Well, 
Brother Simon would hit, and David Wells would hit, and Christian Monk Christensen would hit. Then I guess I'm outnumbered. Five one. Yikes. So is there any chance we just hit and hop out here? Daniel Sorensen would hit. XG will hit. Okay, okay. If XG will hit, I'll hit too. Okay, I get it. I'm outnumbered. Leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, this is my first instinct, is just to do this and hope to get away with it. I think it's going to win the most games. Also, I guess because he's trailing so much, he can, uh, yeah, okay. I'm still thinking about that last game. So here we are with this cube here. Would love to know the race. Yeah, I guess we have to hit. I'm just thinking about it. Not hitting is insane, apparently. So the race, yeah, he's down, what, 34 pips here? Yeah, I don't know. That's close. Looks tough. Would love to know what XG++ says. Martin Howe is uh, updating us here. It says Oliver Squire is currently playing a 1.9. And... Elias is playing a 1.6. Is that correct? Wow. Amazing. How much of a pass is this, by the way? Can you toss that into the chat for me? I'm going to head out on this break. I'll be back in a moment, but if you wouldn't mind telling me how big of a pass this is, that'd be fantastic. I think for money, I just like take this all day, but I guess he's up uh, by four points in this match, so there's no 87 on XG+. Plus. Okay, that makes sense here. Massive uh, take for money, though, right?
All right, I am like half back. Still waiting for Oliver to return. Elias is out in the hall here. Do we have 300 likes? Hold on, let me check. Oh, we're so close. 299 I see. Who is unliking? <laughs> Hold on one second. 300, I pressed the like button. Let's go, let's go. All right, the goal is to get more than yesterday. And by the time we have the finals tomorrow, I hope to have more than we had today. Thank you guys for showing your support in the chat by smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you. All right, I think I just saw Oliver walk by. Let me check. I did, all right. Good work, chat. Thank you very much for reaching the number 300 while we were live today. I really appreciate it. It's a milestone. It's a milestone. Shows us that you appreciate what we're doing over here. We've got 307 now. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys very much. You do your job by smashing the like button, and I'll do mine by continuing to talk. Uh, and the players will do their job by continuing to play, and Gam Backgammon Galaxy will continue to, to do their job by putting on these streams. The year says 318. That's amazing. Hold on. Mine says 309. Maybe it's updating differently. Well, either way, I'm really, really happy. Thank you, guys. Double fours, enters, and hits. This is amazing. I think I'm just going to come around and make the nine point. This seems like a very reasonable thing to do. Making points is good. Having a bunch of blots is generally bad. Three, two makes the advanced anchor. It's a really good shot. Should keep the cube away for quite a while. All right. Wow, what are we doing with this? So the five comes down and maybe the four. Are we doing it this way? Okay. Four, three misses, so I... Apparently, we're just going to make the outside point. And 4-2. So, there's my 2, and my 4 is just going to come down. Hoping we get missed and are able to make an advanced anchor and escape. I would love to have co-commentary for the final. The other guys have been super, super busy, and we only have one microphone. Uh, I would love to get Mark in here with me. That would be nice for the finals, uh, depending on who makes it, see who's available. Mark is currently in the next round of his high roller event. But tomorrow we'll be doing the finals. We will see who we have available. Double twos. All right. Uh, I think we can just make the five point. I don't love this. I do not love this. Because what am I going to play next roll? Maybe we won't have to worry about it. 
And the five should just go to the five point, I think, yeah. But I think I would have just made the five. He's doubling. Okay, this was his strategy all along. Elias takes it, hoping he doesn't roll a four. He doesn't roll a four, and now his position is breaking. Okay, no, it's not. It's just running, of course, but now he's going to get attacked. Or maybe not. Okay, he gets missed uh, by every single number. Well, there goes my plan. Five there. I mean, I don't know what we're getting out of the cube. We don't have the five. Okay, this hits and makes the one point. We're not going to let this guy go, are we? You know, so here we go. He blitz him, hopes he fans, and then we can. No, he doesn't fan. Of course not. He just comes all the way around the board. No problem at all. For now, at least. I mean, you're going to have to jump over the phantom five point if you don't roll a four two or some sort of double to fill that in right now. Okay, okay, you make it look easy. Huh. No, I've had co-commentators this week. We had Mark's brother in here one. Uh, for one match. We also had, um, I think Svempa was in here earlier today. Six, four. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't necessarily need to slot right now, you might be getting a shot right away. He sees this, so he's avoiding it. Five, three clears the seven. All right, it's getting a little bit awkward for white. I mean, obviously it looks fine. I would rather be white here, that's for sure. But there could be a shot incoming. Very critical roll, 6-3, no shots. Makes it look easy. All right, three, we just make the board. 6-3 leaves a shot, so does double sixes and double fives. 4-1, totally fine though. So we could take two off, but I think clearing the six seems like the reasonable idea. You're winning the race by a million, and now you're in a zero position, a position that leaves no shots next roll, which is always good. You can breathe easy when you roll this number here. Five, three, okay, five, and then the three. So if I do to the ace, six, five leaves a shot, and that's it. Okay, I like it. He's still going to wait around for it, of course, because he might get it. 6-3, very safe to the one point. And he's hoping to stick around for another roll if he can. 4-2 just goes to the deuce point times two. A two, but one of the twos that doesn't leave a shot. All right, a lot of aces and deuces leave shots next time if he can stick around. If he doesn't roll a six, he'll just break his five point. He's hoping for it. 6-1, six, 6-2, one, six, five, one, five, five, one leaves the shot. This comes off. And do we leave an extra number to take off an extra checker? I think I do. I think the fourth checker off would be very, very useful if I do get hit. So I'm taking it off. And he rolls the two. He gets hit and he comes out. I told you I shouldn't have left it, but nobody believed me. I didn't even believe myself, but I would have. Don Oliver's play. He fans. Okay, we can't give anything back. 6-6. Six, six, and two checkers off. Elias has a huge lead now. Oliver needs to enter with a big number. 5-1 isn't big enough. If this were like a money situation, of course we would redouble this. But now we're redoubling to 4. And then 4 turns to 8. And this game ends up being played for the match. And if he passes, right, 
then it would be one away, six away, Crawford, which has to be what in terms of winning chances, like 11% or something like that? And the question is, is he within the window to double here? Four, two, okay. If he rolls small, maybe he can give him the thing. Five, one, he's feeling much better now. Much better, he didn't get the crossover. Is it time to give him the thing for the match? He gives him the thing for the match. Elias has 84.3%, I've been told, which might be within the window, actually. But this definitely has to be then if the last position was 84.3 because he gained and the other guy did not. This is going to be a tough one for our friend here. Hopefully he can figure this one out over the board. Obviously he knows his take points. He knows his percentages. He is an absolute professional. And of course, this is a massive pass. Uh, yeah. The question is, should he have doubled the roll before? No. He comes here. And let's see. Massive pass, yeah, okay, good. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's a pretty big pass. I liked it, I think he played it perfect, Elias. I don't think Elias missed a cube. I think he played it perfectly. Uh, you know, he rolled uh, just a normal number that took two checkers off, and Oliver rolled below average. But there was a possibility that Oliver could roll above average and swing his way back into this game. So I think he played it perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. When does the window open for the recube, Martin How there? Because he's close, but not close enough, yeah? Okay, 4 1. We just hit. Five three, this double hits. I'd probably play eight to five because it gives me more numbers to follow up later. And the five point is a better point, of course. You get hit with both anyway, okay, well, whatever. Rude. Three, three. Well, I guess we make the point, the 10. We just come down. I like making the 10. Structure in front of the anchor, I think I like better. But this, of course, seems fine as well, but I would have done the other one. One five hits. Two, 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 and Oliver. I, I mean, I would just make the other point to be honest, but he's playing a bit bigger than that, which is fine. Just letting you know what I would do for the future. Hmm. I mean, it's possible. It's better to just come out there, to be honest. I, you're not getting away with this either, you know. And now you've got two checkers on the twenty-four point. Did get away with it though. For now. Two, 
two, four. This misses. Maybe we just slot the bar. We're not really losing out on anything by slotting the bar. We've got a ton of guys back anyway. And if he doesn't roll a six, we're doing good, right? So let's just do this. Cross our fingers we get away with it, and then we get to hem him in there. Maybe he rolls something like 5-4 or 5-3 or 1-4. That's actually a better than average roll. He gets to cover that blot and split. He covers the 7 with the 3-1. That's a great number. Now black needs to extract those back checkers. They don't get to, so you have to play 13-8. to eight. You don't love it, but it's what you have. 6-4. Yep, time to come off from there. Just hope to be missed with a deuce. Luckily, a deuce is also duplicated to step up, so that checker, if he rolls a deuce, has to stay there. 5-1. I step up with the ace here. And I guess my 5 just comes down again. I could also play 8-3, to three, but I maybe I would do this. Here we do, we come around, what hits here? Eights, five, three, six, two. Not four, one though. And this A steps up, this is great. It gives us a good six, five as black to make the outside point if that were to happen. Wow, six, three, huh? Maybe we can just play two down. Is that possible? Also, I can come out and make the 11. I think I like this play. The problem with coming out and making the 11 is that the guy might just attack me on the five. Five three is a great shot. It hits us in the outfield. Four four fans. That's not good for Oliver. 1-3. So I think we have to step up. And he's doing this 3, so he gives fewer shots from the roof. Basically none. And he fans. 5-5. Five, five. What a fantastic number. He comes out, and maybe we just play down with those two checkers and go to the three again. I think it's better to break the 13 while he's on the roof. And yeah, I like this. I like this better than going to the three because the five is duplicated to enter and hit. So we can't do both, and he rolls a five, but not the five that hits. I like this much better. We always like to clear these points when the guy's on the roof. Two, one, so there's the two, and the ace just slots the deuce. It's going to be difficult clearing the 12. It generally is, but at least he wasn't hit. This should just come out and all the way around. I don't see giving him an ace to hit us. I don't I don't see the upside. He could just roll one two and this could be his way home. One six as well. Three six on the other hand, not so good. Slots the one. Thank you all for being here, smashing the like button today. We really appreciate it. I would still play eight to six, though I see he's trying to save a six by staying outside, but I, I just think it looks nicer. I know backgammon isn't a beauty contest, but it doesn't hurt. Five one. And maybe, I mean, I know it's generally the best idea to slot. I have a tendency to make a mistake here sometimes and be like, well, I'm going to get a shot right now. Let's not do it. And it ends up being wrong a lot. 5-4. Well, this just clears the 8. Well, it gets rid of that safely, which is nice for black. There were certainly worse numbers on the dice. 2-1 is a good number. Doesn't have to break anything. Six 
six, four leaves a shot. He gets hit with fives and sevens. So there's 11 direct fives plus two, three, and four, one for 15 numbers. Plus he gets hit with six, one and four, three for 19 numbers. This is 20 numbers and guaranteed to get home if he's missed. I think I like this. Nope, changed my mind. The other one was better, obviously, because we got hit in this variation. Oh, he's playing big here. Okay, okay, okay. He duplicated his own fives, though, to cover the deuce and to make the bar point, so I don't like that six. He could have played the other six down, given himself a four to cover the bar, a five to cover the deuce, and a three to cover the deuce as well. But maybe he's running low on time. He is. He only has 16 seconds left, but Elias only has 32. Double fours. We cover. Come out and down and do this, and sixes and fives make the point. A6 sends us to the roof, though. 2-6 keeps us on the roof, though. 5-1 makes it. Yeah, let's not waste too much time. Don't want to get this far to lose on time. You might have more games to play, young man. Young man? Three two. Uh, okay, this is okay because double five still lands on the one point. In these spots, you want to look out for bad double fours and bad double fives. We have over 400 concurrent viewers right now. Fantastic. It's nice to see you all here. Please, if you don't mind hitting the like button and subscribing to the Backgammon Galaxy YouTube channel, please feel free to also subscribe to my channel, Justin Knoll Plays Backgammon. Backgammon Galaxy has a ton of books and boards for sale. Feel free to head over there, download the app. There's a QR code there. If you don't know how to use that, just aim your camera on your phone at it. A link will pop up and you can just press it and it will take you right there. Double fives, these are one of these disaster numbers I tell everybody to look out for. I was just giving a discussion about these. These are the numbers that kill us in these uh, six prime games. Double sixes will always make the next best point in line. Double fives and double fours could kill us. So when you see good players that have time, of course, in these positions, five, four, you do not want that number, Oliver. Uh-oh, this is bad. I don't like this because you don't have a five to hit. If you roll five, four, you're just leaving a shot for nothing. Oh my God, he rolled it. What are you doing? No! Why did I call it? Okay, he doesn't roll the six. My goodness, scared me. What is this, double threes? What is this number, five, three? Should he hit? At DMP, should he hit? The guy's got a three-point board. If he rolls a six, he could be back in this game. Should he have hit? He didn't have the time. Should he have hit? Oh no, Black can get back into this game pretty easily. He just needs one big number to cross the board. 6-1 gets him into the other quadrant. That is super important, getting two crossovers there. All he needs is another six now, right now. He doesn't want to miss with anything to try to get back in this. And then Oliver might roll. Okay, well, it doesn't hurt that bad. He got one checker off. He doesn't want to start rolling twos, though. Double threes is fantastic for Oliver. Slot the one and play five to two. Double ones. Oh, he has to throw it away. That's like one of his best numbers. Got a hit there, I think. Could have just let him back into the race. 6-4. The guy only has a three-point board. We can't be afraid of him. 2-1. All right, Elias needs double sixes, double fives, double fours, double threes. Not 5-2. That's not going to get the job done in this game, but you'll have a few extra tries after this one is over. 
Five, one, still a two roll position. If he starts with doubles now, he can get them. Five, two, okay, that's not gonna get the job done. He's gonna need consecutive two ones. Six, one, that's the end of that game. All right, all right. All right, so, I mean, Oliver's gonna need some time to turn this series around, isn't he? And uh, he has half the amount of time as Elias, as you can see. Exactly half, 16 seconds for Oliver, 32 seconds for Elias. That was a close one. Luckily for Oliver, he rolled a double at some point and was able to move a bunch of freight forward. Double six, what a shot, post Crawford. Now, I mean, you can't even cube this, right? I mean, I mean, of course you can. You're not losing anything by doing it, but it doesn't feel great. Yes, you are allowed to double again now. We are post Crawford. Interesting whether or not we should do this or break the anchor with 4-6. You're really in a funny spot here. Now you can afford to do whatever you want. Oliver has three blots in his board. You got to come down and smash him with the ace, of course, and just hope that he misses. I mean, you can even hope that he hits. Who cares? Look at his board. 5-1, okay. Maybe you care a little bit. Five to four, plays with a fewer blots, of course. I like this. I mean, six to five is also totally reasonable in this spot, but I like this one better. It comes in and out. 